we've died twice on the tutorial mission. Like, <laughs> Relo oh, I don't think he was talking to me. I think he was just shouting. Hello, hello, everyone. <clears throat> oh Lord, excuse me. My my voice is betraying me already. That did not take long. Anyways, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome on the new sadly new uh odin sphere slash whatever game we're finishing day i wish it hadn't come down to this but it did so yeah in case it wasn't already obvious my you know job that pays my bills did change my my work week so i'm off on mondays now instead of saturdays meaning that's the only day i have time to stream whatever we're finishing still doing all the other streams at the same time as usual uh, all the PS2 stuff and whatnot, but Odin Sphere sadly had to be moved. There was no way around it. Trust me, I would have much rather have kept it on the weekend for myself and everyone else, but wasn't possible. Anyways, with that said though, let's play some freaking Odin Sphere, man. I've been excited for it. We actually have a character that's fun to play again. <laughs> not uh, not Mercedes. We don't have to deal with her. So hell yeah. I am, I am pretty happy about that. There's an armed revolt. Okay, trying to catch myself back up on the story a little bit here. Um, right, so we were kind of working with Melvin. Melvin's a dick, but we're not believing it because we're an idiot or something. Like, I don't, I honestly don't know why we don't believe it, but... We just refuse to believe that that Melvin is a uh, is a bad person. Or you know you could just not do what Melvin wants. That's that's an option too. Dumbass. Odin's here is worth it, but my Tuesdays are gonna be hard. I'm sorry, man. I really am. I I wish it didn't have to come down to it. You know, like I said, I I would much rather do it on the weekend. Not only for for. Uh, like my own sake but like for your sake i guess i don't know i'm kind of losing my train of thought here um, <laughs> point is it would have been nice to have a weekend stream weekends tend to be a little bit better for streaming because there's just more people that can do things and whatnot and i would have loved to have been able to keep a weekend stream but no dice you know it is what it is there's nothing you can do it's fine yeah yeah <laughs> i'm glad to see you still here but like if you ever have to go to bed man go to bed you know <laughs> i don't want i don't want you to feel like total shit on uh on tuesdays because you're staying up all night watching me play odin sphere so what do we have we have grilled lamb okay which that was a cooked food that we must have made last time onion carrot we got a bunch of healing potions, antidotes, some napalm, and some fire spirits. Okay, yeah, that should be basically everything we need. I think we're good to go. We are ready. Where are we going? What is... Okay, the deep forest. Got it. I basically forget everything that happens within, like, the span of a week, so... Always have to spend the first few minutes just kind of getting caught back up. Back into to the, to the thick of it. <laughs> アンチを翻すには大義名分がいる。オズワルド、シビアドーダ。命令通りに反対していた聖騎士どもを秘密裏に葬った。うーん、オッケー。これで文句を言う奴はいないだろう。よくやった。石頭の諸公たちは依然エ
Yeah, he's right behind Melvin, dude. Damn straight. Kill any dragon, big or small, man. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to do what he tells you to do. You do have a choice. It's either him or Mercedes, and she doesn't know a thing about ruling, so you can kind of see why someone would want Melvin to be King Valkyrie. Yeah, I mean, like, I get it. <laughs> I can get, like, it, in IRL, I can kind of get where you're coming from with that, but, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, that whenever he's dealing with rulers of other nations and and the high class and whatnot he's probably puts off this persona of being a very you know upstanding uh person with with good resolve and and all that stuff you know but like <laughs> we get to see behind the curtain so we know that that's just no <laughs> that's you do not want him to be in charge at all actually but yeah Hi, I'm here but can't hear. Uh, well, I would say thank you, but <laughs> I suppose you're not going to hear it. Okay, what did we get? Did we get a map? We did. Thank goodness. I appreciate getting the map quickly. Uh, muggle seed, the onion that we picked earlier, grape seed, and a navel seed. So a little bit of everything, basically. Okay, let's take a look at our map, shall we? Where are we going? Okay, so we have to we have to go here because we want whatever the hell that scroll is. And then that's just a shop over there. Okay, so we're basically we're gonna make one detour here, beeline it to the boss, but take another detour for that five star encounter up there. Is the plan. Gotta collect the scrolls, man. Don't know what kind of recipes we're gonna get, what kind of alchemy stuff we might get or whatever, but we gotta we gotta collect them all. They do cool and interesting things. <laughs> and as we've learned, cooking is actually really powerful. Really powerful. And without potions, we would be utterly screwed. So, like, how did a frog knock me dizzy? Like, <laughs> come on, man. It's a frog. I can understand it poisoning us or something, but to knock us dizzy, that seems like a bit much. Uh, muggles only require eight. Let's go ahead and plant that. I think there's eight of them floating around. Maybe there wasn't. Uh, no, there must not have been. Okay, that's fine. We do not have the ability to release more. Can We could make a potion real quick. What ingredients do we have? Well, you know what? Let's see what we have in here first before we do anything else. Yeah, just a bunch of seeds. Uh, stop. Oh, it was enough. I see that. <laughs> okay, it just took a minute. It just took a minute to grow. Got it. There's even some extras uh, floating around here. So, don't know how I missed all that, but oh well. Your bags are full. Holy shit. We need to get more bags of stuff sometime. Um, We don't really need the HP right now, and that's what I'm trying to save those for. I think maybe... I mean, we know from... Uh, the other plays that we did that we're gonna end up having way more seeds than we ever really need So let's just take the empty material that we have and dump some of these seeds into it We'll start with like the grapes and the mulberries and the stuff that I don't care much about and then we'll move on to the other ones as needed Where did level one there it is and Not the navel. I like the navel mulberry and then Muggle. Level 2 and Muggle. Just dump, basically, we're probably going to end up dumping everything, to be honest, in it. But trying not to do it in a way that's dumb, if possible. I'm sure I'll screw it up somehow. We should eat that Muggle. 
and then we can put its seed in there too. Get the experience from it first, of course. And then we will dump it in the potion if we have the space. We do. I don't know why I dropped it in if that was the chance, but... Yeah, dump the muggle in there. And that gives us a naple and another material. Do we have enough space? We don't, so we need to dump one more. Unless we can make something neat, but it doesn't look like it, so... We got, we got Naple, Naple, and that's it. Just Naple seeds? Okay, guess we're throwing a Naple in there then, just just to clean up some space. I We might end up, I didn't plan on it, making a detour to a shop, but we might end up making a detour to one of the shops, just so... Oh no, never mind, there's one on the way. Even better. Just so we can see if they have any of the large bags yet. I don't know if they're going to unlock this early, but it would be really nice to have a large bag, because, yeah... Having a little bit more space would definitely be useful, man. Uh, what level was this encounter? I don't remember. Level 3, level 4. Trying to think if we can grow a Naple in here or not. I want to say it's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, there's a fair few things thrown around here or running around here. I think we'll be able to grow a Naple. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to murder you, if you don't mind. These bears are so freaking tanky. But, at least they don't poison you like the daggers on these fucks do. Oh god, yeah, no, there's- this is definitely a big enough encounter. Holy shit. There's- okay. There's a lot of dudes. Hey, he poison himself. Get fucked. <laughs> okay, maybe don't let ourselves get hit by the uh, by the blades, though. We ain't trying to get poisoned, and then we instantly get poisoned. Good job, us. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll we'll take the damage from the poison because we're gonna be eating stuff here in a moment, anyways. So we'll have more than enough heals to, to survive this this poison. I'm pretty sure. Okay, what did we end up getting? French onion soup. Dude. I like some French onion soup. Need a cheese, onion, and hot cross bun. That makes sense. Don't know what else you would put in a French onion soup. Uh, We got that Rosimile. We might as well go ahead and throw that down and grow something with it. Probably, I think the only other thing, seed that we have is this muggle seeds. So we'll go ahead and just grow that, I suppose. Eat the naple a little bit. Um, yeah, go ahead. And I think because I'm just, I don't want to wait for it, I'm just going to go ahead and drink the antidote. Because the poison's just lasting a lot longer than I expected. I didn't mind the damage, but the time was just kind of annoying. <laughs> Go ahead and eat that Naple completely, and we'll take the core and throw it in... What level was this potion? Six. Yeah. Throw it in that one. Try to get that to a level nine. Is there anything else we need to pick up? There's something over here. Oh, the other Naple. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't leave that behind. I would have been, <laughs> I would have been a little upset about that, not going to lie. Noodle has a little over five-ish hours left in their shift. Yeah. Painting a little fish next? Dude, that's going to be cute. I know you can't hear me, but it's going to be cute. A little fishy fish. Did you... Oh, you can't hear me. Son of a bitch. I was going to ask, did she end up uh, showing everyone the little... Um, Whatchamacallit? The cat that she painted? Hey, you can hear? I thought you couldn't hear. Well, anyways. <laughs> did you end up showing everyone the cat that you uh, that you painted then? Or... You showed Valkyrie? Okay, okay, okay. I, I didn't know if you, like, posted in Discord or if you just, like, send in DMs or whatever. Just for a minute. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I mean, we need... We're gonna need another one anyways, and I don't feel like dealing with all the inventory management of dropping stuff and picking stuff up, so we're just gonna mix them like that. And then get the hell out of here. Doing some computer stuff? Wow, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Not really. I'm sorry, love, that you... <laughs> That you had to be at work today. Trust me, I would much prefer if you were at home with me. 
you don't think Valkyrie's in the Discord, so you whisper. That's fair. That's fair, yeah. I, I think you're right. Come and get some, Mr. Boss. Who who are we fighting, anyways? What spells do we have? Invisible and Photon Burst. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yep, good job. <laughs> Done got myself poisoned. That worked well. <laughs> I thought we were going to dodge it. We did not dodge it. Get fucked, frogs. Thankfully, the... Uh, the... The... Poison, like, does damage so slowly that, like, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, man. Oh, God, we wore ourselves out. There we go. Do, do we have any seeds? I don't think we do. No, okay. So just just absorb all the foes on. That's fine. Our, our Cypher le uh, level is a little low anyways, to be honest. So that'll be fine. We got our Valentinian gold. Hell yes. Muggle Seed, Naple Seed, another level, two more level zeros. We really don't have the inventory space for this at all. We do need another set of Antidote, though, so we can make that real quick, maybe. If I remember what we need. Don't we need... We might need Cubsbane. Why Why am I thinking Cubsbane for energy? Onion, level zero and Onion, or level six in Cubsbane, okay. So I'm pretty sure we have an Onion in our inventory. We do. Where's my level zero? I just picked it up. Level zero and an onion. That'll fix our low on antidote problem. And give us a little bit of space for... We got Naple. We got Mulberry. Oh, there's Mulberry and Muggle there. There's all kinds of seeds. Too many seeds, man. Okay, take that. Mix with the Mulberry because don't care. Take that and that. Gotta mute me now for a bit. All right, love. Uh, try and have fun at work. <laughs> I know, I know that's a tall ask, but uh, you know. Uh, then I think I'll take the navel seed and leave the material. Honestly, seems like a decent plan to me. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Okay, and we're just going straight on to the boss, and hopefully, fingers crossed. This shop has some large bags. I don't think it will this early, but it would really be helpful if it did. Hello, Mr. Shopkeep. Where art thou? I need you to sell me things, please. And think I'm not trying to attack you. I'm trying to talk. Spare my life. I didn't plan on killing you, but, uh, I mean... Milk material bag, bangle... No bag, just the small bag. I mean, it does hold six items. That's something, at least. Not this early, no way. Yeah, I didn't think so, but, you know, I had hoped anyways. <laughs> Do we have... I don't think we have any sort of equipment yet either. But I think I want the bag more than anything else. Okay, we got a bunch of silver, so we can dump all of that. Then the aerial coins, those are the ones that we use most often for whatever. Titanium gold, though, those aren't used for shit. So, there we go. We'll buy a regular bag with that. That gives us a little bit more inventory space. I can't pick it up <laughs> because there's too much shit in my inventory. That's fine. Drop that for a minute. Grab the bag. Now equip it. There we go. Okay, and then pick up the carrot. Thank you. And then we probably don't have enough money left over, but I wouldn't mind getting some sort of equipment. I We already talked, man. I'm not going to murder you. Chill. What do you have? Moon Pendant for HP attack power for 25. I would prefer that one. There's 20. We would have to give up an aerial coin. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we only have three. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I'll give it up. That's fine. Buy it. And then hopefully we find a better one later on at some point. And I think we're just going to go a top left, right? Yep. Continue on forward, man. This is so much easier, so much faster with, with you know, an actual decent character. <laughs> one, that, one that does melee and not using a weird-ass crossbow. Get fucked, bees. 
and and weird bear people you can get fucked to. No, Lord. Wore myself out. Oh, was that it? That was a tiny encounter. Dope. Okay. <laughs> Rushing straight on to the boss, then. This ain't gonna take long at all. What do we got? We got a couple coins. Nice. Naple, Muggle, Material Zero. Great. Um, okay, we'll take everything. But we're dumping... The Naple... Or I'm sorry, not the Naple. The Muggle and... Uh, Grape seeds, I think both into here. Just, just to get rid of them. Keep the inventory space as open as possible. But I really like Naples. They're good fruits. Okay. And... Oh, uh, nope. We didn't mean to make one more de uh, detour. I'm glad I actually checked the map there. Because we would have missed this. With that said, though, this is a five-star encounter. So we should have no problem growing these here Naples. Do I only have one Naple seed? I thought I had two. There's the other one. I'm just blind, that's all. We should also try and collect a couple of uh, carrots before we before we leave this area. Because we every like every time we've gotten to the end of someone's story arc or whatever we've been struggling to get to get carrots because wherever it ends up sending us at the end there's never freaking carrots there <laughs> oh shit uh we unlocked a new spell and it's not the one that i wanted <laughs> i was trying to do foes on burst because we were surrounded by things and instead i just released foes on because i'm smart that's fine <laughs> Gosh darn it, you stupid frog. How are the frogs kicking my ass? Like, come on, man. All right, drink an antidote. And then, not that we really need the, the heal right now, but go ahead and eat a bite of grilled lamb because that'll give us, yeah, a lot of experience and fully heal us without uh, any problems at all. Come on, come on. Destroy, destroy the nest, maybe. No, my lord. So many bees. There we go. Excuse me. Uh, give me just a moment while I <laughs> revive some of my pal, please. Don't these grow too? Does it need more? Maybe it needs more before it grows the second one. Or am I mistaken? And they only grow one. I think. I think. No, they grow too many apples. You would think I would remember this by now, but. These bears are tanky, dude. You can really take a hit. Hi, other bear. Die, please. Please and thank you. Ah, uh, withered. Okay, I must not, I don't think I got it in time, so I'm just gonna collect the one. It's not as efficient to grow one per seed or whatever, but it's better than letting them wither, I feel like. So we'll just let it go. There are two, but it takes some time. Yeah, it takes some time, and I think it needs more, um, more things, too. Or, um, maybe it did grow both, and I'm just blind. I don't know. Here, why don't we just do this? Foes on release. And then if it needs more, it'll get more. That's for sure. Freaking bees, dude. I hate the bees, especially with Oswald, because he doesn't have a good way to attack things up in the air like that. You can destroy the second if you're not careful. Yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna... Uh, oh. oh, you mean like if it's only half grown or something? Is that maybe what you mean? It's like I was okay with only getting one from the seed if, if that's what was gonna happen. But obviously I don't want to destroy the entire plant though. Oh, that one withered too. Oh well, whatever. Withered Naples are still decent. They're just not nearly as good as the, the regular ones, so. Oh, well. I should probably go ahead and eat another bite of grilled lamb. And since we don't have any more seeds, maybe try and absorb some of the Fozons that are floating around all over the place. Give them to me, please, and thank you. Holy shit, dude. There's so many of them floating around here. 
Why are you so tanky, Mr. Bear? I just want you to die. I'm pretty sure bosses die quicker than you do. <laughs> okay. So we got the Phozon release now. That's cool. I do like Phozon release. How much is a bone going to give us? Three. Very nice, man. Yeah, D-level encounter. That was not my best work, that's for sure. But we got the scroll. Alchemy mix E. What does E give us? Elixir, a mystical potion that heals even the worst injuries instantly. Oh, dude. And that's the other carrot potion that you were talking about. Very nice. Okay. So, this is like the advanced potion, basically. Like, it, 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 instead of just giving 200 health or whatever, it's a full heal. So, that's the one that we actually want to be focusing on making whenever possible, then. Because the 200 one is, is very useful in the early game, but later on, it not so much. You know, we'll have like four or five, six hundred health. So downing a whole set of three potions kind of kind of sucks. Now, what I do wonder, though, is if that elixir or whatever the hell it was called, if that gives us three uses per mix or if it's only going to end up being one. Because if it gives us three uses the same as the, the healing potion does, then that is very good. And we'll pretty much exclusively focus on making that if that's going to be the case. Bags are full. Mostly of onions, probably. Give the game a minute to load. There we go. Uh, okay, so... Swap that. Yeah, we got a lot of onions, man. A lot of onions. Can we find any more carrots, maybe? Oh, things spawned. It's weird how sometimes more enemies will spawn and sometimes they don't. I don't know how it determines when that's going to happen. Another onion. Oh, that's the onion that we already knocked up. Duh. Carrot? Onion. Look, onions, I like you. You make napalm and stuff. Very nice. But we don't need any more of you right now. What we need is a carrot. Please and thank you. Where was that squeak at? Here it is. Carrot! Thank you. Uh, no, you're not going anywhere. You're mine. I think it's not a full heal, but about 800 or something. You only figured it out when you were OPSL. Yeah, basically full heal then. May not technically be, but essentially a full heal from the sounds of it. Because I imagine most people don't get, you know, much higher than 800. <laughs> Except for whenever they do a run like what you were doing. Just getting literally everything maxed out, essentially. Alright, let's move on to the boss. I don't hear any more squeakums, so just gonna get the hell out of here. Who are we fighting? I do not remember. Oh, Beldor and the Dragon, maybe? Lay Dragon? Yeah, that makes sense. Yosei,その手随一の魔法を使い、ベルドウよ。お前の忠誠は国に捧げられたものか。個人に捧げられたものか尋ねよう。うん、そういうことか。メルヴィンが覚悟を決めたな。面白いことになりそうではないか。だが、わしは部外者じゃ。頼られても困るな。ことの成り行きが落ち着くまでは傍らで眺め
It does suck, man. It really, really does. But we gotta do what we gotta do, I suppose. Don't have much, uh, much choice in the matter here. Uh, try not to get fucked. Foes on burst since we are, I believe, full on foes on. That'll probably do a bit of damage at least. We can also, I forget how, how's it work? Is it? Nope. How do we enter? There it is. I was going to say, we can also enter dark mode. I don't remember exactly how it works, but <laughs> I knew it was something we could do. Oh, come on now. Just die. This is going so much easier than it did with Mercedes. We should probably go... Oh, I was going to say, we should probably go heal real quick, though, before we die. Um, yep, please and thank you. <laughs> Not that button. This one, that was too close for comfort. Eat the grilled lamb. That should that should heal us up greatly. Yeah, there we go. All right, now you're screwed, dude. Close. That was, it was really close. <laughs> too close for comfort, honestly, but we're fine, though. We, we survived. No, oh, jeez. Stop eating me, Mr. Dragon, sir. I did not consent to being eaten by you, okay? Come on, just, just go down already, Blau. We both know you don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Neither one of us want to be killing the other. So just, just go down already. And we're dizzy. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to absorb my Fozons because the stupid frogs made me dizzy. <laughs> だが呪いはますます体を蝕んでいく。俺の魔剣は力を出し切れないまま革命は終わろうとしている。うん。You hmm. gotta feel bad for Oswald too, though. You know, like. <laughs> Really, it, it's kind of heartbreaking for both him and for Blau. Just pawns being used by evil overlords. You backed the wrong dude, what do you expect? Don't tell me you couldn't tell that Melvin's a freaking asshole. Like, I don't know. こんな時に潰れてしまいよって。魔剣の次の使い手をもっと早くに用意しておくべきだった。俺の代わりだと。メルビン。本当に魔剣のために俺の命を。嘘だ。そんな。俺はお前の何なんだ。<笑><笑> I don't think you want to hear the answer, Oswald. Mm -hmm. Screw that guy, man. <laughs> wow. Feel really bad for Oswald, dude. 
動くなよ魔剣使いもう観念しろなんだあれは<笑>し死神だあれだなこのシア命をかけて求めたものは幻だったお前の絶望の味が心地よいぞ生きながら己を腐らせ死してなおつながれるのがお前の定めさあ招くシア No No <laughs> I think Oswald come on man what are you what are you doing man you can't just you gotta raise your sword stop him from taking you and do something of course we gotta wait for the freaking save come on just go hurry up game come on come on come on come on thank you game data has finished saving what happened you can't just it's like an ad break right in the 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 middle of a tv show right whenever you know it reaches its crescendo and then just ad break or something it's like no dude just i want to know what happens so okay so it seems like we did actually get killed i'm guessing oh wait are these are these people that we killed or that were killed by the sword at least yep okay these are the people we killed this is this is good happened in Gwendolyn's story too yeah yeah hey Rue welcome man <laughs> yep didn't want it to be today but it's today These, these guys are all just waiting for my downfall. Uh, I mean, I get it, though. Like, playing, seeing it from Oswald's perspective, you feel bad. But if you imagine it from these guys' perspective, yeah, he's just some warrior that went around mercilessly killing many, many people. Like, ugh, you know, it's rough. It's rough from both sides. Again, fuck Melvin. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I agree with you there. <laughs> uh, money money speaks for this dude like that's all they care about oh you got money i don't care how bad i hate you dude i'll sell you some shit let's go all right we got a bunch of onions they're not worth much but i'm going to sell a couple just to get them out of the inventory literally just a couple though we're gonna keep the rest and the carrots because they make elixirs and health potions and probably something else that I'm forgetting, but they are VV good. Shine. We're probably going to end up needing shine. I'm guessing by where we're at, but... Oh, shit, and there's the large bag. <laughs> of course. Of course, now we get the large bag unlocked. Ah, uh, that's annoying as hell. If we would have just waited that one boss encounter, we could have got the large instead of the regular, but oh well. Too late now. Whatever. It's only an extra, what, two inventory slots? It's fine. Yeah, Netherworld and Delphia. Definitely gonna need some shine potions. Thankfully, though, it should give us the whatever vegetable that we need to make shine. I forget which one. But it should be pretty easy to find whenever we spawn in. ブルム。俺は何者なんだ Nightshade in English. Yeah, I think you're right. That sounds right, at least. Listen to Brom, you dumbass. 
He's a good dwarf. That's rough, dude. Oh shit, my heart. <laughs> Hey, the bird's back. Haven't seen you in a while. Haven't seen you in a while. I kind of wish Oswald would have been one of the earlier characters that you played. Just because, like... We already, since we played Gwendolyn's, we know already that he lives, right? Like, there would have been so much more suspense in what happens. Does he, does he succumb to the curse? Does he, does he make it through or whatever? If we had played him first. So I kind of, I kind of wish they would have put him earlier in the uh, pecking order, to be honest. Very well told, though, I feel like his story. More so than the other. Not that the other characters' stories are told poorly. But so far, like, I'm, I'm really into the Oswald thing. I can see why you guys seem to like him so much. Because, yeah. Yeah. Good character. Good writing for him. I like it. I'm into it. Now, if the game would just look... Oh, shit. The Underworld is the one that... That has, like, a... Uh, really bad... Whatchamacallit. Really bad uh, lag all the time. Hopefully, it doesn't affect us too much here. Has the enemy spawned in yet? There it is. Ow. I can't see. I don't have I don't have no shine potions. Oh, I should be able to make some. Maybe it was Cubsbane, not Nightshade that we needed. Maybe. Uh, yes. Okay, Cubsbane. Cubsbane, Nightshade, same thing, really. <laughs> okay, let's use that real quick so I can see anything. Please and thank you. Okay, we got a tentacle, and is that it for the starting area here? That was it. Okay, well, whatever. Can I not pick it up? Oh, I guess it wasn't attacked yet. I thought I had already attacked it, but I guess not. Ooh, all kinds of money. We'll definitely take that. Please and thank you. Overripe Mulberry? Okay, we'll take those two. And material. Very nice. Everything spawns all the time. What? <laughs> I, I am very confused, sir. <laughs> How are you just going to come out of nowhere and be like, everything spawns all the time with no context? I have no idea what the hell's going on. Overripe Mulberry, is that used in a recipe somewhere? I feel like it is. What we can probably do... How many points will that give us for... Will it just give us one? No, it gives us five too many. I mean, we can make a level 99 that way. L? I don't want the L either. I want <laughs> I want to make a level 8 potion, but I don't think that's possible with what we currently have, which is too bad. What we could do, though, is eat the overripe mulberry, I guess, pick up the grape seed, and then we could take our level 6. You can't make a 99? Oh, does 9 times 11... That doesn't work? Does it, like, top out before that or something? Or did I accidentally take my 10 and turn it into a... Oh, there is no recipe for a 9 potion. So you can make a 99, but it's just pointless, is what you're saying. Gotcha. That sucks, but makes sense. 
Uh, there is Grape Seed. We'll just dump you in there for now and continue on with our life. Hopefully we get the map soon so we know what we're doing. Only the even numbers have recipes. That's such a weird fact. <laughs> like, I, I just, I don't really understand why they decide to do that, but okay. I get maybe just to make it a little bit easier to remember or something. I really don't know. You did it to be confused and to, to be confused and to be confusish. <laughs> what was that even English, sir? <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't think Nate even knows what he's saying right now, to be honest. I think he's done confused himself. Can you die, weird thing? Thank you. What's your outfit over here? I think a Cubs Bane, which, yeah, we'll pick up. We're probably going to need to make at least one more Shine Potion. What do we get from our chest? A uh, Withered Fruit, which we will definitely take and eat. Maybe. Um, go ahead and eat a Naple. Why not? Plus, that'll give us a core, and we can use that core to get our level 8. And then once we have our level 8, we can make our first elixir, which I'm just super excited for, because <laughs> thank God, honestly, for a better healing potion. That is awesome. Really, really happy about that. Take that. And that will help us clear up our inventory a little bit, because we'll get rid of one material and one carrot. So is that going to make a three use or a one use? That's what I'm most curious about right now. It is a three use. How? Yeah, restores a great deal of HP. Yeah, so probably not full heal like you said, but still 800-ish is a lot and I am happy for it. We will gladly accept. Take the Wait, full again? Oh my lord. Okay. We're probably going to need another round of Shine Potion, so we'll go ahead and make one now. There we go. Now we can take our Grape Seed and our Shine and go, I don't know, top left. We'll just follow the left path all the way around to see what happens. Don't know if that's better or following the right's better. There's only one way to find out, and that's getting a map. <laughs> uh, so we don't need a Shine Potion on this one? Weird. To be confused is to become Confucius. Uh, I think you're operating on another level right now that uh, the rest of us are not. Left is closer to the boss. It dope. Then we pick the right direction. Oh yeah, I've forgotten. Haven't you like memorized basically all of the maps in the game? <laughs> Didn't you say that like they're not fully randomly generated or something? Uh, okay, we got some tentacles. Tenna bros. Every time I said tentacle, it makes me think of tentacle. And every time I think of tentacle, I want to play Pokemon. Even though I'm not particularly a huge fan of that Pokemon, I still, uh, I don't know. I just like Pokemon. Let's plant the grape. I think the grape will get enough to spawn between the dudes that are left. If not, we have the foes on release now, so we can use that to supplement as needed. But the way these foes on are pouring out of here, I don't think it's going to be necessary. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to take that maybe and the way you said it as a most definitely yes. <laughs> that everyone? That is everyone. G freaking G, guys. Great me, daddy. Thank you. A B? A B? I mean, we'll take it, but... The maps are the same, but the characters are starting at different points on it. That makes sense. Okay, so that's why it feels different each time, even though it's not necessarily different. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, we're going to eat the grape, put it with the level 9 to make a 10, even though, you know, you can pick up a level 10 every now and then. Or wait, do we have two zeros? Because if we have two zeros, then I'll just dump it in one of them. I mean, that or I guess we could slowly start working our way up to another elixir. And keep our 9 in case we get a 10. I think that's what we'll do, actually. Keep our 9 in case we end up getting a 10. And mix the 0 with the grape stem. If I could find it, please. Thank you. Grape stem. 
pick up the rotten muggle in the material and I don't know, just eat it. I know some of the rotten fruits can be used in recipes, but I don't know, man. I, I don't remember which ones and I just, <laughs> I don't want to spend the time to look to be honest. So it's fine. Uh, oh, we got the map now. Okay, so yeah, the boss is right there, but okay, I don't care about that orb. That gold coin wouldn't be bad. Hey, and look, talk about freaking level 10. Shit, I couldn't think there for a second. Uh, Yeah, no, I think we're just going to go straight for the boss, though. That gold coin wouldn't be bad, but we can always come back and grind if we need to. We're almost an hour in. Isn't there an ad break soon? There is in about, uh, about five minutes. In about five minutes, we'll be taking a five-minute break. Give everyone a chance to use the bathroom, get a snack, a drink, do whatever they need to do. Uh, oh, and just a heads up for everybody. I mentioned it before on stream, but I want to make sure to keep bringing it up uh, every now and then. The ad breaks. Twitch, basically, they sent out a message to to uh, me and I, I imagine all the affiliates and partners. They changed the way that the ad breaks and pre-roll ads work a little bit. Um, or, I'm sorry, more correctly would be saying they are changing. It, it won't take full effect until August. Um, anyways, point is, right now, pre-roll ads, there's no way to fully get rid of them. If you run an ad using their ad manager, um, it will temporarily disable pre-roll ads, but it'll never turn it off entirely. Um, pre-roll ads, for anyone that's not aware, are ads that you're forced to watch before the stream begins unless you're subscribed to someone, which is terrible. I just, I don't want that. I don't want people to be forced to watch any ads before watching my stream. Uh, I, I think most streamers probably share that sentiment. Anyways, and that's why I've always ran about an, a minute and a half of ads every hour because that maximized the amount of uh, non-pre-roll time I could have without taking an ad break every half hour. So it ended up being like 50, 50, right? 30 minutes of no pre-roll ads, 50 minutes of having pre-roll ads enabled. Um, or did I say 50 minutes? 30 minutes. Anyways, point is, it was 50-50. Twitch is now changing it so that if you run three minutes of ads every hour using the ad manager, they will completely disable pre-roll ads on your, on your channel, which is the goal. So in preparation for that, in August, I went ahead and agreed to the terms and have set my uh, my my ad break time to three minutes. With that said, we're not actually going to be taking any longer of breaks because we usually take three to five minute breaks anyways. And of course, we'll continue to only run ads during the breaks, so nobody will be missing content or anything like that. So I think it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? You guys don't have to watch ads any more uh, pre-roll ads if you're not subscribed and you won't actually miss anything because we'll be in a break anyways of course i'm open to feedback if that ends up being a problem for anyone please do let me know but i think it's a pretty decent trade-off honestly because we'll still be taking the same three to five minutes we were anyways it's just hey you're not subbed you won't have to watch an ad before the stream starts anymore that's that's <laughs> That's it, really. I guess you'll miss a little bit of the old content, but I don't think very many people really care about the old content that's playing in the background of the breaks anyways. Sounds good to you, Valkyrie. Thank you, honestly. I hope it doesn't cause too much trouble for anyone. Like I said, I don't think it will, but I'm always open to feedback on that sort of stuff. Okay, we have two level zeros now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, wait, 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 we have a level one somewhere. There it is, yeah. Don't be dumb. Could dump some fruit in there. That might be something to do with the withered fruit, actually, now that I think about it, because I think it gives, like, five levels of, uh, on the potions, whereas the other ones only give three. Uh, this is a one-star encounter. We got time. We got time to do that one before the ad break. Do the one star encounter real quick and then we'll take our quick break. I know I need to run to the restroom myself, so I am looking forward to this ad. <laughs> well, to this break more than anything. And what are we going to come across here? My guess is weird tentacle uh, ghost dudes because that's what we always seem to come across <laughs> in this godforsaken land. Yup, yup, there they are. And, oh, the fish, the, the very annoying fish that like to be invincible 
and go invincible at the worst times. At least, I think it was you, Valkyrie. It might have been Rue. Gave us the hint that if we uh, do the absorb thing near them, they turn vulnerable, which is very nice. I do. <laughs> That's a really good tip, honestly. Okay, release all the Fozons. All of them. By the time we absorb them all back up, we're going to get... Yeah, <laughs> right back to level four. That's... <laughs> I can't... I don't know if this was something they overlooked in the game. Or if, like, they knew it was something that was possible to do and they just didn't care. But it seems... It seems like something that would have been unintentional, though. But, oh well, whatever. It helps us out, so we'll, we'll take it. Bad grapes. Okay. Let's take the bone and dump it in wherever. Where did our... Did I drop it? Am I an idiot? There it is. Level two. Okay. Take that material. Mix it with a bone. That gets us up to five. And then how many does the bad grapes give us? Is it three or is it five? If it's three, that would be perfect. It's five. Uh, I mean, that would give us 10, which we can then use to get up to 90. Might as well do that. Oh, I meant to pick that up, not the other one. You don't think anyone ever abused it as much as I do? Uh, I mean, maybe, but I mean, like, I just don't see the point in not abusing it, you know? Because what's the point of leaving your, your gauge completely full? It doesn't do anything for you being full. And the, the highest level spell that I've seen costs two or three levels of it. So I just, I don't see the point <laughs> in not abusing it, basically, you know? Because otherwise it's just going to sit there completely full the whole time anyways. So why, why wouldn't you, is the way I feel about it. But anyways, guys, as we were just talking about, it is time for a break. So we are going to switch over to the break screen, uh, run an ad, and we'll be back in five-ish minutes. <laughs> I just instinctively reloaded whenever he said, uh, shout it out, reload. All right. I don't know if I hit them or if somebody else hit them, but... Hey, some kill zone appreciation. Yeah, man, I've never really played the games. I've always wanted to, but I've never gotten around to doing it. And uh, so far, I am terrible at it so <laughs> so don't expect a, uh, a particularly good showing sadly <laughs> sorry i got you a bad game i just won't buy you anymore wait did you buy this one mr noodle for me i honestly don't remember and i definitely don't think it's a bad game either way mr noodle i'm excited to play it it's one that i've always wanted to, to play through i just uh Oh, wait, you were talking about... Follow me. You were talking about the, uh, the... Uh, what the hell is it called? The Men in Black game. That's the one you were talking about. I gotcha. Yeah, that one's not great. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse, though. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just super hard, Mr. Noodle. Men in Black is. It's insanely hard. I couldn't... I, I was honestly surprised. Like, I thought it was just me or something, but I looked into it a little bit. I, I looked up the game to see if I was doing something wrong. And it seems like everybody kind of agrees that, that Men in Black Alien Escape or whatever it's called is just a tough-as-nails game. Alright, duck down, reload. This game is great, just a bit of a learning curve with the aim and combat mechanics. Yeah, it feels a little, like, it feels very, uh, very touchy with the aiming, which, you know, when I was younger, I probably wouldn't have minded, but nowadays I play mainly on PC, actually. I, I've started playing on PS2 again recently for the PS2 gauntlet and whatnot, but before... Before this, I was almost exclusively a PC gamer. Um, and I got so used to keyboard and mouse that now trying to play a shooter with a controller 
is rough. <laughs> Give them cover and fire. We can do that. We can do that. Are you bad guy or are you good guy? I hope you're a bad guy. Because I'm pretty sure I shot you. Alright. Are they here? They're here. There's a bunch of them here. Holy crap. Yeah, I have the, uh, not only do I have this one, but I'm pretty sure I have the collection on, what was it, on PS3, maybe PS4, where it's got, like, a 1, 2, and 3, I think it's a PS3 collection, if I remember correctly. I have all those ones, and, uh, just never got around to playing them. And now that I'm doing the whole PS2 gauntlet thing, trying to play and stream all of the, uh, North American PS2 games, at least all the ones that... I reasonably can stream. I saw it as the perfect opportunity to kind of give the series a, a proper try. And for a PS2 game, it certainly looks pretty good so far. The frame rate seems to be a bit busted, but I've seen worse. X for melee. Got it. Very cool. Very cool. I'm sure as I play it a little bit, I will get more used to it as well. The the aiming and whatnot, and reintroducing myself to first-person shooters on console with a controller. Uh, overheated? Yep. Oh, good, we can zoom in with this too. Excellent. I'm just gonna mow you down in the legs because <laughs> your legs are bigger targets than your than your heads. <laughs> I mean, the, the uh, machine gun here seems a little wild anyways, just kind of firing all over the place. So, so as long as we uh, kind of aim in the general direction of the enemy, I think we might be okay. <laughs> Hopefully at some point they explain a little bit more of the story. That or I'll have to look into the, uh, the manual. Oh, shoot. Hi. Uh... Sorry, yep, I kind of ran in before you explained what I needed to do. My bad. <laughs> well, at least now we know we can use grenades. L1. Excellent. That is good information. I fell down. Did not mean to fall down. It's okay. It seems like maybe we need to go this way anyways. Hi. Uh, grenade? Is it going to blow up? Okay, it did. <laughs> I was waiting for like some big boom or a flash or something like that, and then I just nothing. It was just nothing. Uh, you're a little slow there, Mr. Uh, Enemy AI, with your with your your firing. Of course, I say that losing three quarters of my health to him, so you know. Excellent. Got him. Sorry, I kind of alerted him that we were here. Ooh. Can you cook for too long? Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I hope everyone had a nice little break. I grabbed the rest of my kiwi mango sorbet that I had in the freezer. I'm just letting it uh, thaw a little bit before I dig in. So I would say I had a pretty successful break. <laughs> uh, don't know if it's the best time to talk about it, but real quick before we get into the gameplay... I just want to remind everyone two announcements that we got going on Wednesday. So just a couple days from now, we will be doing a 12 hour stream. We'll be streaming from 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. And we'll be playing all different kinds of things. We're going to be playing Mario Odyssey, um, RimWorld, Fable, Stardew Valley, speed running a little bit of deepest sword a game that i used to have a pretty high rank on the leaderboard and but uh have consequently or over time fallen quite a bit in and then of course playing a couple different ps2 games so anybody that can be there i would love to see you and it's all thanks to you guys that we are doing that of course because you guys donated the points for the community event thing and uh so it's happening let's do that 
And then the other announcement, again, thanks to you guys and all of your support, I want to increase my streaming a little bit. We're going to be doing a little bit more streaming. And with that, we are going to be trying to stream something new, a, a new niche, you know, not necessarily just the PS2 stuff. So there's a straw poll. There's going to be a couple different polls that I'm doing, but the first round here um, is running now. And then we're going to whittle it down over another two polls to pick the category of stuff that we're going to start streaming once a week. So anyone who wants to vote on that is more than welcome to. You can pick up to three different categories. The next poll, you'll be able to pick two and then one. And then the winner of that last one is the one that we'll be adding on and trying out kind of that niche. If that works out well, awesome. We'll keep it forever. If it doesn't, then after like six months to a year or something like that, we'll switch it to to another one maybe have another poll or something to to decide what we should try next so just remember it's whatever you think you would most enjoy watching not what you necessarily enjoy playing the most yourself that's what uh you should vote for because that's what we're going to be playing a lot of so that's pretty much it for the announcements though we got that 12 hour stream we got the poll going on let's play some more odin sphere maybe unmute it now there we go and get right on into it dude game data has finished saving awesome also, my headphones got turned way up whenever I sat them down to go downstairs. There we go. That's that's a little more manageable. All right, boss time. Who are we fighting? Are we going to be fighting the weird uh, big mommy milker spider lady? I feel like that's probably who we're going to be fighting. At least that's who we fought the last couple times we ended up here. But I don't know. Could be someone else. <coughs> Randomly switch it up on us. Yep. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be fighting her. <laughs> Don't made him angry, dude. She cares not, not even a little bit. Wait. So how's this supposed to work? <laughs> this is looking a little hopeless for us here. So wait, do we go from being Melvin's soldier to hers? Because I don't think that's any better. Uh... <laughs> She's gonna scrape out our bowels? Excuse me? Oh, so we're not fighting her. Okay. Wait, are we fighting Odin? Yeah, dude, let's go. Let's take this bastard down. I'm all for it. Come on, game. Hurry up and load. I'm excited to kick Odin's ass. Loading, loading, loading. Hopefully, since we're fighting him and not the uh, the underworld queen lady. Oh, holy hell. Okay, he, he can put out some damage. Okay, quickly then. Let's heal first off. Do a little bit of that. And then... Why not... Ah, oh, dude, was that... Do we have a... 
Oh, hi there, Odin. You're a lot closer than I expected. Uh, I wish we could, like, mix healing potions and stuff together and, like, stack them, I guess, is really what I'm asking for. Anyways, Fire Spirit. And then just beat the hell out of him. Even though it seems like every boss is flame resistant, but whatever. It'll give us a chance to, to output some damage. Holy hell, his fists are strong. Oh, hi. Uh, there's your your mean ball. Get out of the, the mode. Ro oh, nope. We're going to be dizzy. This might be... <laughs> we might be screwed. Yep. That's okay. We didn't take any damage at least. Uh, okay. Run away. Run away. Holy hell. 16 health. That is too close for comfort. Uh, take the healing tonic probably. Yes. <laughs> Drink some healing tonic, please and thank you. And get under that thing. Hi, Odin. How are you? You know what? I know you're... Oh, my lord. The lag is real. Okay. Drink another healing tonic. And then... Throw down the napalm. I don't think the napalm is going to do much to him. But it should do something, at least. Ow. The lag is so real, dude. Why? Oh, good. God. Okay. There we go. We are, we're good. We're good. We are, we're, we're getting a bit of laser beams to the face, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Here, throw out. Okay, I was going to say throw out a Fozon burst, maybe. Get a little bit of damage from there. That should, yeah, there we go. That, for some reason, also cleared up the lag for a moment. I don't know what's up with that, but hey, whatever. And the lag is back again. <laughs> we just stand up. He's so dead. Just stand up. God, okay. He's done. He's done. That wasn't too bad. Turns out the game is a lot easier with Oswald than it is with Mercedes, man. いや。俺はもうあの国と関係はない。見れば死者の国にあって、お前の命は失われてないではないか。なぜこの死の淵に落とされたかは尋ねまい。黒い剣士よ。剣を引くならば、お前も冥界の外へ連れ出してやろう。
You've played Oswald story so much. Valkyrie says same. You guys really like Oswald, don't you? I don't blame you though. The more I play him, the more I like him myself. Like I see it. I see where you guys are coming from. Okay. Let's buy... Uh, you don't have a large bag. Why do you not have a large bag? The last dude I spoke to had a large bag. Why is it downgrading? Now that I have the money, it's gone. That is sad. I am very sad. Um, okay, well, we don't need shine potion. We ended up making extra of those. It's only five gold, but whatever. I'll sell it anyways. We probably don't need... Well, we'll keep the Cubs Bane for now. We'll sell one more onion. We should make more napalm at some point, but we don't need it right, right this moment. You that emo boy type you're so attracted to? <laughs> Fair, fair. You like Gwen too? Yeah, Gwen's storyline was also really good. I mean, that's the one that got me pulled into the game, obviously, being the, the first one, so. Gwen, when she's not an ass, she's cool. You prefer Velvet, though, just because she's a woman on a mission? Is that the only reason, though? <laughs> I mean, I'm here. Just talk. You know damn well it's not, yeah. I figured. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your daughter's hand in marriage. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Now you're talking my language. すでに竜を切り殺したお前ならできぬわけはあるまい。その She's his last hope the birdie saw in the underworld represents her. I kind of figured since we only saw it in her story and now in his. I'm still curious about what the hell the bird is exactly though. But I guess we'll uh, probably find that out eventually. You can understand why Gwendolyn's an ass. Look how she grew up. And then, <laughs> and then the guy that tried to kill her five minutes ago is like, look, I'm your husband now. Yeah. That's a... <laughs> hmm. I probably wouldn't be too happy about that either. T totally understand that. Uh, oh, we need some warming potion. I wasn't paying enough attention in the shop. Uh, turnip, please, and thank you. Oh, no. Go away, you frozen little assholes. God, there's so many. Go, stop. I want to make a potion, please. A warming potion, because for some reason, turnips warm you up. I don't quite understand it, but hey, that's just how it is, and we all need to accept it. Do we have any seeds? Muggle? Eh, yeah, whatever. We'll make it just because we have a bunch of them, and we're frozen. Yep. Yep. Okay. Can I be unfrozen, please? Thank you. And the rest of them disappeared on their own. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I hate those little elemental dudes. Like, the fire ones are annoying because they catch you on fire or whatever. But the ice ones are so much worse. I hate being stuck in place, unable to do anything. We got Muggle Seed, Naple Seed, Material, Naple, and Muggle. Okay. All kinds of seeds. Let's go. You'll find out in the finale. Okay. <laughs> Twitter is a shipper. Yeah. Oh, we should probably go ahead and drink a warming potion, too. That would be smart. 
Oh, you think in real life turnips are cold resistant. Maybe that's why you use them in the potion. You very well could be correct, man. That sounds like the sort of thing that could be true, at least. I have no idea if it is, but it sounds reasonable enough. Okay, after this fight, we're going to get rid of some of these seeds, I think. But should we plant any of them now? Let's plant a Naple. No, we'll just plant another Muggle. We have a bunch of them, and it's not like we're going to lose the seed. Because when we eat it, it comes back. And then on the off chance that we actually do lose the seed, because we don't get enough Fozons from, from killing these dudes, then it's whatever. Who cares? It's a Naple. Or, I'm sorry. It's a Muggle seed. Like... Who cares about Muggle at the end of the day? Although, they do make, what, Muggle Sorbet or whatever. Which, uh, is pretty decent. Uh, excuse me, bird dude. I'm trying to kill you, if you don't mind. I need some power. There you go. Deaded. And there's more. Hi, guys. Um, hey, don't mind me. I'm just gonna pick this Muggle real quick off this tree. There we go. And the lag is unreal. Why so much lag? At least in this case, like, it's probably because there's so much stuff on the screen. So it makes some sense, unlike the Underworld, where there's just a shit ton of lag all the time for seemingly no reason. And it bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> like <laughs> Here, like, there's actually a lot of stuff. You know, there was their feathers. There was all the little ice dudes. I can see why there might be lag. It's still weird for, like, a 2D game. A very pretty 2D game. But it's a 2D game, and yet it lags like nothing. I don't think I've ever played a uh, PS2 game that lags as bad as this one does. I mean, we still have a lot more PS2 games to play before we make it through all of them. But out of the 100 that I've played, over 100 PS2 games that I've played, yeah, I think this game has the worst lag out of the group. Turnips are harvested in fall near winter, at least around where you live. And chilies are spicy hot, so maybe that is the logic behind the potions? Maybe. I mean, yeah. I know, like, in real life, as far as the uh, chilies making the cooling potion, um, it tends to be people in hot climate eat spicier food. And the idea is, is that by increasing, like, the amount of sweating that you do, it actually decreases your body's core temperature. Um, because, you know, as you sweat, you release energy that, you know, helps cool you down or whatever. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's where it comes from. Chicken, milk, onion, and turnips. Stuffed chicken. That actually sounds really good. I am hungry, man. I ate food today. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but all I ate was a couple of Hot Pockets. And so now I'm like kind of hungry again. After the stream, I'm going to have to find something to eat. I have no idea what, but I'm going to have to find something. Okay, how many seats do we have? Let's take a look. Because we could do... One, two, and that's five. So that takes us to seven right there. What level is our material at? Or do we not have uh, level one? So that's actually perfect. Dope. Okay. So let's do the fruit first. Get us to six. So I don't forget what I'm doing. And then take the six and mix it with that. That's seven. And then seven plus one, I believe, is eight. <laughs> I did pass, like, kindergarten math class. And then mix that with a carrot and fucking elixir, dude. Let's go. I'm in love with this potion. We haven't even used one yet, but I'm so happy for it. We don't have a map. Uh, we'll go to the right because, I don't know. Or follow the right wall, basically. Sounds good enough to me. Let's go. One more bite of sorbet before it loads. Oh, okay. Potion. Oh, that hurt my tooth. I'm too cold. We're good. Hello, enemies. Would you like to do something? There you are. Oh, hey, it's the little dudes. I always forget about these little guys. Look how cute. Even if they are trying to cue us, cue us, kill us. There's something cute about them at the same time. We should probably heal real quick. Oh, bigger versions of them. Those guys aren't as cute. <laughs> Those guys are kind of assholes. 
Do we eat the Naple? I mean, we're pretty close to leveling up. Let's eat the Naple. Eat it again. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. They're coming. Uh, I don't want to be frozen. <laughs> that does not sound like a good time. There we go. Uh, Griffin bird dude, I would like if you died. I like you more than I like the dudes that freeze me, but still. Uh, the freaking freeze breath mother. Keep your little cute snowman heads to yourself and your frost breath. Oh my god, I hate you all. Freeze recovered, yes. Just hit him. Just freaking hit him, dude. <laughs> Just die. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. I should have a napal seed. Plant that. Recover some power real quick. Oh, there's a butterfly. Absorb the butterfly. I think he's done. Uh, excuse me, bird dude. Do you want to stay down here for a minute? Actually, that would be swell. Foes on burst. Will that hit everyone? Yes. Die, everyone. Die. <laughs> uh, not the frost breath. Keep it to yourself, man. No one wants to smell your stinking ass breath, Mr. Yeti dude. I'm just over here trying to be a farmer, and y'all are making me fight and stuff. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, uh, wasn't paying attention to my pal gauge. Oh, my lord. I hate these guys. I hate them with a passion. Don't freaking do it. Trolls, that's what they are. Frost trolls. Well, whatever they are, I hate them. <laughs> In more way than one, yes. Yes, they are. I couldn't agree with you more on that. Uh, break open the chest, because whatever. Where did my Naple go? I don't want to forget that here at the very least. We got another Naple seed, another level zero, and another level zero. Let's open up our menu proper. We have... Okay. I want you to go here. You can go there. So we have two level zeros that we're not doing anything with, really. We're a simile, a Naple. We have that Naple core. We can take that and we have another level zero right there like honestly we're getting a bit too many <laughs> materials here let's go ahead and make another regular healing potion because we're still not like at that point where we really need the elixirs yet so we'll do another one of those for now and think okay well we're good for we're good for the moment at least speaking of though we should probably go ahead and drink one or just eat the navel we'll just eat the navel that's 120 hp or no we get three bites out of the navel so that's uh 180 that should be basically enough to get full health and then where was that level one right there mix you with the core thank you very much and now we are gonna keep going this way. See if we can't find this boss. We don't need no map. We are strong, independent explorers, okay? Don't need no map to tell us where to go, to tell us what to do. I, I take it back, honestly. Like, if you want to give me a map game, that would be totally fine. Would not be upset at all. Uh, ooh. Revenant Desecrator of Souls. You look scurry. Not really. You're gonna die, just like everyone else. Unless I get frozen. <laughs> if I get frozen, then it might be me that's doing the dying. Uh, let's plant a seed. If we need to, we can release Fozons to make it grow. And we have that Rosimile as well, so... Grow another Naple. We could use some more uh, health experience, I think. Speaking of health, though, let's drink a potion. Thank you. Healing tonic. Very handy. Because we're finally getting far enough in it to where even Oswald is taking some damage, man. Nothing like Mercedes, but still some. 
Don't freeze me, you bastards. I don't want to be frozen. Keep your fresh, your fresh, your your frozen breath, <laughs> your freeze abilities to yourself. Can you just die? Thank you. It's the one thing he's missing is a good aerial attack. That I feel like most of the other characters had. He can't seem to get easily as high. He does have double jump though. I should probably remember that. There we go. I will take my Naples and go. Oh, we need to make another set of warming potion before I forget. Take one of the level zeros that we have and mix it with a turnip. There we go. Ghosty goes Beldriver past. <laughs> Gofi goose. Beld Reaver. I, uh, <laughs> I'm butchering that so bad. Anyways, they fixed that in the remake. Hey, there's the map. Look at that. See, the trick is you got to pretend like you don't care about the map and then the map will appear. It's like in whenever you're playing Pokemon, man. If you're really looking for a Pokemon and you let the game know that you're really looking for a specific Pokemon, you're never going to find it. But if you just make the game believe that I don't care about that Pokemon, man, I don't really need it. Guess what? <laughs> uh, there's a scroll down there. I don't want to backtrack, but we're going to. We got to get the scroll, man. All right, pick up the seeds. Uh, we might as well. Yeah, this is just a shop, so we might as well go down and then up. You don't know how to spell the name of the dagger, okay? <laughs> I feel. I think you're not actually that far off, and I knew what you were talking about. I just like picking on you, Mr. Shopkeep, sir or ma'am. Uh, you're a puka. I don't really know <laughs> what that makes you. What are you selling? You like his skills in the shadowy wobble thing is amazing. Shadow teleport. Uh, ass, I would never. Are you selling large bags? You are. Thank goodness. I don't know why the other person wasn't, but you know what? It's fine. We'll take what we can get. Is that enough? Ah, oh, just enough, dude, with four silver to spare. Thank you so freaking much, Puka, sir or madam. There we go. Every once in a while, there's a little jingle in the game that reminds me of my alarm clock that I that I have set in the morning. And anytime I hear the jingle that I use for my alarm clock, my whole body just kind of jerks a little bit. Because I'm like, oh shit, it's time to wake up. And then I realize that, no, wait, this is real life. <laughs> I'm awake right now. There, there is no waking up. Uh, okay. And then let's go to the Puka Village, I guess. I didn't really plan on getting sidetracked here. But go to the Puka Village. See if we can make anything. We have a little bit of fruit. And we do have an egg. So we could probably buy a hot cross bun and make egg on toast. We could do that. And then what do we need? Is it just Naple and milk to make the that one dessert, the Naple dessert? So one thing we haven't really done with him is spend any time in the Puka Village. Come on, game. Load. I'm just over here enjoying this kiwi sorbet. It's such a weird flavor, but it's so good at the same time. I, I really, really like it, man. I can't wait to buy some strawberries and make a strawberry kiwi sorbet. I think that's going to be fantastic. I would like whatever it is that I have the ingredients to make, honestly. And that's 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 about it. Okay, so we need muggle for that, which we can't do. It is Naple and milk, so we can get that. We just gotta leave and buy some milk real quick. And that's it. Okay, so buy what? We have two Naples, so two milk, I think. And this life oh, is this life or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, escape from reality. Uh okay, Queen. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I think it's, is this real life or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, escape from reality. Isn't that how it goes? I don't remember. 
If you ever watched the movie, you should watch the movie if you haven't. I enjoyed it at least. It was a little bit long, I felt like, but other than that, it was really good. Okay, so yeah, we do have two Naples. So two milk, please, Puka person. No, I don't want your advice. I just want to buy some stuff. Hey, 69 coins. Nice. Uh, <laughs> milk. Uh, oh. We don't actually have, like any money except for the good money wait so that's four none of that oh these are each worth five that's where the majority of our money is coming from damn and how much is it per milk ten so we would need to spend four of those silver things uh i'll mm, i'll take it it's fine we'll do it you know what? We almost never spend the gold on recipes. I'm probably going to regret it, but it's fine. It's fine. Just buy it and, and pretend like it's fine. <laughs> if you believe it's fine enough, it'll be fine, right? You weren't expecting Queen, but you like? I actually really like Queen. I haven't listened to a whole lot of their songs. I have a uh, album of like their greatest hits, and I've seen the movie... And then, like, obviously the ones that they play on the radio all the time and whatnot. But, uh, good band. Aren't they touring again? Like, with the the old drummer, guitarist, and everything like that? And then they have Adam Lambert or something like that? Doing the, the vocals? I, Noodles talked about it a few times. I'm, I, I want to say it's Adam Lambert. That's doing the vocals for them. And, I mean, like, dude. That's, it, it's just really cool that, you know, after all this time, they're touring again. I think that's really awesome. Sad it's not with, you know, the original people, but all the original people, but that's also not possible, so, you know. <laughs> Adam Lambert, fuck, he's so hot. <laughs> you love Adam Lambert? Way to show up, Noodle, as soon as I bring up Adam Lambert. <laughs> Wasn't it Adam Lambert that was doing, that you said was uh, replacing Freddie Mercury and Queen, though? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's, uh, I remember you saying that. That that was the person. Uh, our dude's eating sorbet, I'm eating sorbet. It's a good day, honestly. One day you're gonna have to steal Noodle. Good luck. She's as straight as a person can be, sadly. <laughs> Uh. Alright, uh, we still have an egg. How much is a hot cross bun? Probably five, I'm guessing. I mean, it's a bun. It can't be that expensive. We can sell a seed or something and uh, get, get that. Because I don't want to spend any more of our puka money on just regular stuff. Who is Adam Lambert? I honestly don't know what they've done to be somewhat famous. Um, but I know I know they sing. Like, they do music. I don't know if they do anything else, to be honest. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure they are now the lead singer for Queen. So, you know, there's that. That's quite an accomplishment, IMO. Uh, yes, yeah, sell you the Muggle Seed. That's fun. You can have that. And then that should be enough, hopefully, to buy a hot cross bun. Yes. With my silver. Thank you. And now we can have some eggs on toast. One of the hottest emo looking guys in our country and a music artist. He's also majorly bisexual. Look up the song, If I Had You. What do you want from me? And you'll see what I mean. If I Had You, that's one of his songs. That's actually one of the ones I know then or have heard a few times. I mean, Noodle listens to Adam Lambert, so... Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't realize that uh, that was one. What do you want from me? I don't know that one off the top of my head, but anyways, yeah, yeah. A uh, relatively well-known musician in America, and uh, a lot of people think he's really hot, so. <laughs> we got new recipes, very cool. Can I just skip that, please, and just get to the eating part? Uh, yes, that's what I want. 
hot cross buns. So I got my boots on, got the right amount of leather, and I'm doing me up with a black color liner. That sounds vaguely familiar. Is that the other song, the What Do You Want From Me song? Ooh. Too bad we used all our carrots. We could have made that, but I mean, carrots, we're, we're always short on, so it's probably better that I turn it into healing potions, honestly. Okay, let's get out of here. We're done with this. No, that's if I had you. Okay, well, that explains why I knew that one so well. He's also the lead swinger for Queen. I'm assuming Noodle can't hear me because I've definitely said that like six times now. <laughs> uh. You can hear me now? Okay. <laughs> that's actually... Um, how Adam Lambert came up as I was talking about them being the lead singer for Queen now. Rude, you're rude. Rude. Oh, Noodle, you're okay with me finishing the Kiwi Sorbet, right? I'm assuming you are, and I'm hoping you are because uh, it's almost gone now, but... <laughs> oh, they were on American Idol. See, I never really watched American Idol or anything, so I didn't realize that's where, like, they had their... their their breakthrough moment or whatever, but that makes sense at the same time. Keep it up, you'll just go with Rue. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure you will. Oh, they're taking damage. Wait, was the yes meaning that you don't mind if I finish it? Or was the yes saying that you wanted more of the Kiwi Sorbet? Because I, uh... Honestly, I don't remember what I said and like how I phrased the question. <laughs> All I know is there's only like three bites of it left, so I hope I hope it's okay if I finish it. <laughs> uh, seeds, please. Naple or mulberry? Naple, definitely. You watched him and voted for him on American Idol. I just like never watched American Idol, so I've I've never voted for anyone. I've seen like clips of American Idol, but that's about it. I just I, I don't really care for reality TV shows that much. Competition shows like that are more interesting than than you know regular reality TV at least. But it's still I don't know. It doesn't hold my attention that well. Just honestly, holy hell, dude! I kind of wish we had that chicken egg now because. So many freaking seeds. Okay, pick up the rose simile. Definitely. Uh, and then the naple next. And then I guess grape. Grape. Muggle. Muggle. Okay, we were able to pick up all of them. But what we're actually going to do is go over here. Pick whatever fruit is on this one. It should be a naple, assuming it grew yet. It hasn't. Okay, so what we'll do is just plant... A Rosimile, two Rosimile, actually, and a, another Naple or Grape. How much does that need? 18? Yeah, and another Naple. We'll just plant all that and let all that stuff grow. And then uh, collect the spoils, I guess. I wish the stuff grew while we were in our menu because I kind of want to take the level one or two, whatever it is that we have the level two and mix you with i know we picked up a mulberry seed and a couple muggles oh, wait maybe we didn't pick up a mulberry seed no we had to have i'm like positive we did i didn't mean to mix it with the naple i would have preferred to keep that too late now though it's fine muggle is what i meant to mix it with drag race is the best competition show oh it died we didn't feed it fast enough. That's annoying. It was so close, too. The Rosimilis just grew, man. That's annoying. Oh, well. Um. Okay, don't care about the grape seed. Are you Mulberry? You're Mulberry. Mix you with you. I'm actually kind of sad about that Naple seed. It's not like we are not going to get more, but still. American Idol wasn't that big in Germany. Not sure if it is now. We have our own cast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and I mean, isn't there, like... I don't know the name of them, but we also have, like, uh, America's Got Talent. Isn't there, like, a European version of that in some way as well? And then, yeah, I'm, I'm, the whole 
singing competition shows and everything. I'm sure there's unique versions. You love to deal with it. <laughs> what was that one? Hey, Chocobo, what's up, man? Uh, warming potion, please. Where art thou warming? There it is. Thank you. You kind of watched that one. Ari and another friend of ours love Drag Race. We lived together for four years, so you had to watch it. Noodles watched the, the RuPaul's Drag Race uh, so many times. And uh, I've seen bits and pieces of it. As far as reality shows go, I actually think it's one of the better ones. I don't know if I would categorize it as reality TV, though, or as a competition show. Honestly, for me, I think it falls closer into the comp or I'm sorry, closer into the reality TV category than the competition one. But it's still it's still pretty decent, all things considered. Like I don't mind it. You have no idea what we're talking about because you don't watch TV. Yeah, Noodle and I don't even have cable anymore. Uh, we canceled it a long time ago, and before that, I didn't have cable for a long ass time, man. Because I really don't watch TV. TV, I watch YouTube and uh twitch streams whenever i have you know time but 90 some percent of the time it's just youtube and then i watch like some old anime and stuff that i own on dvd that's 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 about it <laughs> like that's that's basically what i watch these days uh noodle and i have been watching the boys from netflix though and that one is really good um the boys it's it's like for anyone who doesn't know it's a superhero show but the superheroes are like human it, it, human as in like their mannerisms are very human so like they fuck up they do drugs they get into trouble and whatnot and because of how much they fuck up and all that there are people that basically want them dead just normal people that want them dead and uh well they do a surprisingly good job at taking care of some of the superheroes like it's really good uh you should honestly give it a try creates money from thin air what <laughs> how does that work Okay, so if we get a troll molder, we can literally just invent money. Uh, that's cool. Hell's Kitchen is on Pluto. That's all you need. Hell yeah, dude. Hell's Kitchen all day, every day. Growing up, I did like watching uh, Iron Chef, and then there was... Uh, was it America's Iron Chef? Is that what it was called? I don't remember. Um, there, was, there was one or two other cooking shows that were really good, not gonna lie. I, I just like food, though, so like doesn't really doesn't really matter what it's about uh <laughs> if there's food in it i probably would have liked it my dad probably would have died way before he did if we didn't have cable in the house so you always had cable growing up yeah i don't know man like me and my grandpa didn't have cable for a long time we just watched a little bit of stuff on on the, the antenna like uh law and order basically and then my mom i think i brought up before my mom would tape the saturday morning cartoons for me so i could watch like Yu Gi Oh and pokemon and shit and that's like yeah want to dude wait watch who is that what you meant you only ever watch cartoons so you only watch things like ed ed and eddie kurt's cowardly dog johnny bravo scooby-doo and stuff like that yeah we also watched me and my grandpa we did watch a fair bit of a uh, scooby-doo and uh tom and jerry tom and jerry was a very popular one between the two of us but it was again it was just stuff that was like on the antenna because no cable and uh i don't know i also these days just really hate watching ads so that's another big reason why i think i don't like cable because if i'm watching cable then i have to watch ads and i would really rather not honestly i was gonna plant something but i don't actually see anything worth planting right at the moment I wish you could see what level an encounter was while you're in the middle of the encounter. Because I really... I don't even know if it's worth planning anything right now. Or if this is all we're going to fight. That's all we're going to fight. Okay, I'm glad I didn't plant anything too... Too important. Fuck commercials, yes. I 100% agree. You bring up funny commercials all the time and he never knows what they are. I don't, because I don't watch TV, man. Oink oink zoo pals? What? <laughs> what is what is that? Is that from a commercial? I don't I have no idea what the hell oink oink zoo pals mean. Oh, we got some milk. That's cool, I guess. Cream stew. I know what zoo pals are, but I don't know oink oink zoo pals. Like 
cream stew, fish fillet, and milk. Noodle, from now on, I'm going to get all of my recipes for the things I cook for us from this game, just so you know. So uh, dinner tonight is just going to be a big pot filled to the brim with milk and fish and then simmered for however long it needs to turn nice and creamy. <laughs> I hope I hope you're excited for that, love, because it's going to be something. You'll starve to death. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sounds delicious to me. Mm. <laughs> I like fish, but that does not sound pleasant. Uh, okay. I actually, what I want to do is put you there. Make you a little bit easier to handle. And then, yeah, I'm just going to keep dumping seeds and stuff. How many healing potions do we have? A couple. We also have a couple of elixirs. So we're pretty good on everything. Okay. Seeds that I don't want put all together. Uh, we can also make yogurt, which could come in handy later. Okay, get rid of the ones that I don't want to put in. Okay. Yogurt. I think it's level zero in milk. Is it? It is. Good. We will make our yogurt for whenever we get a bunch of fruit or something to eat. And then I think yogurt can also be used in some cooking recipes. And then our level seven and our muggle seeds. We're out of carrots, aren't we? So instead of making elixir, we're just gonna go for another level 90 potion. So we'll put the nine here, there. So those are basically done. And oh, grape seed. Ah, we'll put you up there, whatever. Okay, continue on. Maybe we have, what, 10 minutes before break? Let's try and rush to the boss. I would love to finish the boss up before we get to the break. I can snooze the break for a minute if need be, but my sorbet is melting. It's still really cold. Holy hell. Do you remember the Betty Crocker cake band commercials? The domed ones? How... Do you know all these commercials, especially if you didn't watch TV? Because <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Where you can fill it? It was trending on TikTok. Oh. See, I don't watch that much TikTok either. And I've also gone on the record as saying when I do watch TikTok, it's just 90% like ethos. And uh, that's it. Nothing against uh, e-thoughts or anything. Don't mind them at all. But that's... <laughs> nonetheless, that's 90% of what TikTok is for me. <laughs> As a child, bro. I don't remember my childhood. <laughs> it's so weird to me. One of my really good friends, she uh, mentions all the time, like, oh, dude, I remember playing that game when I was, like, six. And I'm like, I, you, I'm sorry, you remember from when you were six? You remember being six? Because I don't remember yesterday. And like <laughs> I don't I don't understand how that works, bro. You were six like that. Wow. That just blows my mind, honestly. So many freaking seeds. I really wish we had a chicken. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna take all the seeds. I don't even care what the seeds are anymore. We're just taking all the seeds and dumping them into potions. Or into material, I guess. Level... Level zero? Yeah, level zero one. Just dump it in. Mix it up. It's either that or leave the stuff behind. So might as well just mix it all in, man. Go for it. Think that was a grape seed? That's fine. Who, who eats grapes anyways? So what is this what is this pan you guys are talking about? What was so special about a Betty Crocker domed pan that made you guys want one so bad? And made you remember the commercial after I I don't know how many years for you guys, but obviously at least a handful of years. Um Grape seed two. Okay. Dump it. Dump it all in. 
with all this inventory management. I don't know if we're going to freaking make it, dude. Hurry up. Mix it up. Seven. Eight. Okay. I wasn't going to take all the Naple Seeds and mix in, but we're going to do one just so we can get a level, another level 90 right away and not have to worry about messing with it later. So, Naple Seed me, Daddy. Thank you. And take that level 10. Mix you with a level 9. Where is the level 9? There it is. Level 90. And now we are good. Oh, how much experience does this give us? 100, 400 experience. Uh, so we, we could drink a yogurt and eat our egg on toast and maple. How close are we to leveling up? No, let's just let's just get the boss. We can always do that later. Let's just get to the boss and, and get on with our lives. Yeah, it's the very next encounter. We got we got six minutes. I can snooze it if I need to, to to put the ad break off by five minutes. I think I think we're I think we got it. I think we're gonna be okay. Hello, boss. Who are you and uh, what do you want from me? Oh, it's the it's the dragon, right? I remember now. Mm hmm. Yeah, Wagner. I got it. I remembered. Your Wi-Fi died? That sucks, man. I hate when mine does that. Thankfully, my router hasn't gone out in the middle of a stream yet, but it does happen sometimes. It's usually late at night, though. I think it's like Comcast doing an update on the router or something like that. I don't really know why, but... Belder, Bel Belder River. I don't know how to say it, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, like I said, you weren't that far off whenever you said it. You're on your phone. Don't know how long it'll last, though. If you gotta go, feel free to go, man. I really appreciate you being here. Don't get me wrong. It's awesome. I've seen you here basically every Odin Sphere stream. But uh, yeah, I totally understand if you can't stick around. Yes, I killed a lizard. Just a lizard. You dragons are nothing but lizards to me. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. <laughs> I can't Oswald is such a bug. He really is, dude. You're not wrong. I hope you are ready to get fucked, Mr. Wagner, sir, because that's what's about to happen. You want to see this fight? You might have to stop after that. Like I said, totally understand, man. Can we... Is this the one that we can get on the back of? I don't remember. Oh, God. We're going to freeze. Uh, well, I mean, we won't have to worry about freezing whenever we're <laughs> being burnt alive. There's that, I guess. Oh, God. Uh, yes. Just yes. Did you eat your cucumbers? Oh, no. I forgot all about them. Thank you for reminding me, Noodle. I will definitely... Oh, don't pose on release, you dumbass. Pose on burst. First, damn you. The release does nothing for me at the moment. I guess another thing you could use release for is if you needed to suddenly get... Oh. If you needed to suddenly get uh, some power or something like that, you could do foes on release and then, and then absorb it. You know something that I should have tried to... Uh... Oh, yeah. Speaking of needing pow suddenly... Uh, that I should have tried. Ooh, God, he's about to shoot fire. It's fine. Hey, you, you, ice guy, touch me. Can, can, God, why was it so hard to get him to touch me? Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I think we were going to save our yogurt for a moment when we weren't, like, dying. But we're going to eat our eggs on toast, so I'm just going to go ahead and drink a yogurt. Uh, we're on fire. Oh, good. 
we have 14 health left. That's great. Uh, hurry up and eat the toast, <laughs> please. Quickly, swallow the toast, damn it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. That is one nice thing about the, uh, the, the ice dudes, is they do put you out of fire when you're on fire. <sighs> Bows on burst. That should do a little bit of damage to him. Stop moving so much, damn you. You know, it's really hard to kill you when you're running away. <laughs> For an all-powerful dragon, you sure are a bitch, dude. Just saying. Wait, is Chocobo saying they ate the cucumbers? Yeah, they, they ate our cucumbers. Uh, fire elementals, go away. Ow. Goes on burst. Do it. Burst him. Again. Burst him. And then potion. Or, uh, first player recovers. Oh, there's 150 HP? That's actually fine. 150 is enough. Another 150, please. And we're full. Oh, actually, we leveled up even better. Ah, oh, dude, how did I freeze? I didn't even see any. Good, they won't get left in the fridge again. Oh my god, guys. So, Noodle cut cucumbers for me like a week ago or something like that. Because she was cutting some for herself. And then, you know, she cut the rest of it up and let for me to eat, right? And I forgot they were in the fridge. And I am never going to live down the fact that I didn't eat the damn cucumbers <laughs> in the fridge ever. <laughs> it is, I am doomed to be haunted by this fact for the rest of my life. Because one bowl of cucumbers, one half of one cucumber. <laughs> God. Put sugar on your cucumber, it's like a knockoff watermelon. What? Uh... The sad part is, I don't think you're wrong. <laughs> like, it probably does taste similar. And I don't... I don't know if I want to try it, though. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome back, Valkyrie. God, I love this man. Spear of the Castaway and the other things. I, I'm sure he should, he's saying that like out of shame, you know, the other things, but it sounds like he, he holds his daughter lower than, than the rest of it. Yeah, rude. Like, it sounds bad, though. Also rude. Odin is an ass. That is 100% correct. Fuck you, Odin. I'm I'm here for it, man. I agree with all of you. And that's where we save the game. Okay. In that case, we're going to go ahead and take our break, guys. Uh, got five minutes. Get yourself a snack. Stand up. Stretch. Do whatever you need to do. We'll be back in five minutes. Okay. I see. It's got a nice little visual indicator there. I like that. To show you how far along it is cooked. I see it looks like we got a different weapon. How did we switch? Has it told us that? Ooh, okay. Circle. So we got a pistol and a shotgun as well as our rifle there. Very cool. So let's try the shotgun. At least I think this is a shotgun. 
Alright, oh no, okay, it's just a, a different kind of machine gun. Maybe a little bit, has a little bit of a, a tighter f firing pattern, it looks like. Which is excellent for me, because my aim is bad enough as is. Oh man, maybe, maybe having a tighter fi uh, firing pattern isn't a good thing. Cool, cool. You'll need to cross the industries to get to HQ. Hellgas have broken through. They're already in this part of the city, so be careful. Good luck, sir. I mean, isn't the Hellgas what we've been fighting this whole time? <laughs> I kind of knew they were already uh, they were already here. That's not really news at this point, man. We've been fighting them all the way here. Oh, next area. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hit efficiency, 19%. Honestly. Better than I expected. <laughs> Not saying that's good, but it's more than I thought I would have had. <laughs> oh, I'm going to look at the box here while we're in the loading screen. In an era of planetary colonization, the Hellgast await orders to initiate a massive blitzkrieg on the outlying ISA colony, Vecca. Initiative will be attained... Armies will engage and lives will be lost. Keep Amidst the chaos, the squad of soldiers will become Captain heroes. Sir. Very cool. We're pleased to see you, sir. We managed to hold our position against the first attack, but we're pinned down by sniper fire. There's a sniper rifle up the water tower. We can give you covering fire while you retrieve it. Let's go! Okay, I definitely need to... I was trying to avoid it, but I think I'm going to have to do... 1080p fill. Yes. Because it's just, it's just cutting off too much of the screen, sadly. And yeah, the cropping is basically turned off, so that's good. All right, now I just need to kind of, I should be able to, do a custom. Yeah, there we go. Zoom in a little bit. Going well. <laughs> can you can you guys just die, maybe? If you just want to die, that'd be fun. This is when I need a shotgun. Something with a real nice wide spread. Because obviously I can't be trusted to, to aim anything. I probably should have just threw a grenade. Here we go. We, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Did that take care of them? There we go. <laughs> that worked out much nicer. Hold a circle to pick up. So what is what is that? Is this the one with the the tighter firing pattern? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we'll try it out. Why not? And then, are there any more snipers around? Doesn't look like it. I think I think we're in the clear. Okay, let's go back down. Let's meet up with the the group. Let's see if everybody's ready to go forward. Hello, you? Yes, forward. This way. I'll go first if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Okay. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the stream have to turn that down anyway okay there we go let's see what what we're getting into now chapter six act one old castle terrace are we gonna talk to gwendolyn are we gonna finally oh is this the part where like we left gwendolyn or or no yeah no we left and then gwendolyn woke up and then she left something like that oh man I don't it's been a while. I don't remember. Oh no, not at all. Okay. Uh Oswald, stop scaring the shit out of the Pukas, please. <laughs> oh sorry. Be honest, I don't remember you, Puka, I'm sorry. Uh don't take it personally, man. Vampiric ring is cool and all. Large bag, 75. We don't have enough gold no matter what we do, so not happening. What do we have here? We have Naple, but we can't really do anything with that. Um, we have two level 90s. 
have a healing potion, two healing potions, an antidote, some elixir. Let's put the two healing potions together at least. Okay, yeah, I think I think we're just gonna go. I don't think there's yeah anything here for us to really do. Miris is so cute. She is though. Miris is the the puka, the the lady puka that was right next to the bed. I'm assuming. Titania Capital. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. She's cute. Sure. Oh, but no, you're about to see that he doesn't get Gwen just yet. Oh. Okay. So this is like still, this is before she ever woke up. So, okay. What we saw in Gwen's story would be later still. そうか。それでも People are not objects, dude. <laughs> That's right. If only you understood that for yourself, like, years ago, <laughs> you probably wouldn't be in this situation. Ah, uh, screw that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God, okay, Gwendolyn's being stolen. Okay, see, this was unexpected. I'm pretty sure this never came up in Gwen's story. So, okay. Shit, dude. Let's go save Gwendolyn, I suppose. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> All right. So we go into the Titania Underground, or is this... I'm trying to line this up with everything else. So this would probably be around the time that in the, the where we played as the Puka, he went underground with the Wise... I don't know, man. There's too many parts of the story, and there's time jumps are so large. I really, really wish. That's the number two thing I would change about this game. Number one is the inventory system. Number two is I would have the date listed up in the corner at all times. Because <laughs> I just, I can't follow it, man. There's too much going on. Too many time jumps. Uh, don't get poisoned by their blades, please. Uh, Mr. Laser Eye, you can die. GG. What are we gonna get? A, A tier? S tier, hell yeah. We got gold. I do like gold. A shit ton of seeds that we can't really do much with. And some material. Okay, next. Right or left, guys? Which way do we want to follow? Whenever we end up getting to a split in the road, which it uh, looks like we probably already have. Uh, what are you? Probably a turnip? L? Left? Left it is. I'm fine with that. I don't know these maps at all, so... <laughs> Until we actually unlock the map? Yep, whatever. Oh god, are we gonna end up having to deal with people that teleport again? I really hope they don't. I'm assuming we are going to end up getting uh, wizards that teleport, but I'm I'm hoping with all of my might that they don't freaking teleport. You guys are annoying as hell. Why do you take no damage? Is it the, the down attack? Is that what does damage to you? No. That does fuck all. Awesome. Love it. Um... I guess we just had to keep beating on you. Will, will the, the dark version do anything, maybe? Uh, okay, I don't know if we got lucky or if that actually did more damage to you, but it works, so I'll take it. What the 
that? Oh, it's the ooze potion. We get one of those guys to come and uh, help us out, basically. Use potions for those? Yeah, I don't think I have any napalm, though, do I? If I do, I just... I don't know. It feels weird using them for them. They're not, like, hard to beat or anything. They're just annoying because they take no damage. Bye-bye! Or should I say, Bewey? <laughs> Okay, we got way too many seeds. Let's plant something. We have one Rosimile. So we can plant a Rosimile and a Naple. And grow that. And then just dump the rest in whatever. In a potion of some sort. Rosimile. Thank you. And start dumping shit. The inventory management. I'm sorry to make you guys watch the inventory management over and over again. But I just I don't... What? I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> There's just so much inventory management, and it takes forever. Inventory simulator, the game. Okay, and then number two, mixed with whatever. I don't even care the seeds at this point. I just want them out of my inventory. <laughs> you love inventory screens? I mean, that's fine, I guess. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Inventory screens are, man, live for, but it still stands. <laughs> oh, it, like, I've said it a million times. I don't know if there's anyone here that hasn't seen the other ones. But, like... My problem with it is the fact that there's two different inventory screens. There's this one, which lets you actually interact with stuff, but it's so slow to do anything in. And then there's this one, which is, you know, easy to, to read and understand. You can see everything, but you can't do anything except for move stuff around in here. And that's why it annoys me so much. If it was just that one inventory screen, the good one, I wouldn't mind, like at all because it'd be so easy to quickly mix potions and do stuff but instead we have this wheel system that we have to go uh through and it's just it's just slow that's that's really my only problem with it it's just so slow to do anything and it's hard to find stuff uh, oh well whatever it is what it is can't change anything about it you survived DC2's inventory. You got this. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so... Left. Left wall would take us here next. So let's go here. Uh, this is a shop room. Uh, I don't imagine you're going to have anything that we're going to want because we don't really have money, but... I mean, we got 73, but that's not enough to buy even a large bag. Talisman? Mm, amulet? Nah. Yeah, nope, we're good. We don't want anything. Let's go. I'm hoping we can finish up his story today and get on to the next character. Even though I'm really enjoying playing as him much more than than Mercedes. But at this point I'm curious who the next person's going to be, how they're going to play, like how it's going to how it's going to be different from this one. Um oh good, we we won. We got trapped in the ooze, which I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen. Uh, so that kind of hurts. And two, we got a teleporting wizard, which is just my favorite. <laughs> teleporting wizards are the best, man. Let me tell you. Uh, die? Maybe? Have you ever considered that as an option? Oh, God. Damn, these ooze actually, like, really hurt, man. Okay, so we learned from having to fight one of those wizards that they get stun locked for, for a moment, or not stun locked, just stunned for a moment if you hit them with their own sword. So that's really what you want to do with them. But it can be such a pain in the ass to get that to work, but 
You just got a notification that Eminem actually released a song this time? Yeah. We got, while we were out, Noodle and I, last week, we got a notification that, or they got a notification that Eminem had a new song, but it looked a little sketch, so we looked it up, and uh, no, it was some dude using, like, uh, auto-tune and stuff to impersonate Eminem to make a Amber Heard diss track, which is just weird, but uh, whatever. It sounded a surprising bit like M, though, which is what was weird. It just sounded like old school Eminem, not, you know, anything that he's put out recently. It sounded like his, his really old stuff. I hit the sword. Hit the hit the sword. Nope. Okay. That, that worked. <sighs> Internet's going so slow, but you refuse to stop watching during Oswald's story. I appreciate your... your Tenacity, your gumption, <laughs> your your will to stay. Do we have any napalm left? I really don't want to waste it on one ooze. No, we don't even have any anyways. We might be able to mix some, but again, it's one freaking ooze. Just die, dude. What about a Fozon burst? Will that work? Are they like slimes in Final Fantasy? Yeah, okay. Or nope, no, they're not. It is still alive. Okay, that's annoying. Not as annoying as that wizard boss we fought that teleported every time you hit him, but... Why? Why won't you die? What are you... Okay, what's the potion for Napalm again? I think it's, what, level... Level 2 and a... Onion or something like that? Is it a level 0 and an onion? No, that's Antidote. What's that make? That makes a cooling potion. Must be level two. I don't want to dump Naple Siege just to get rid of one freaking slime, but that's what's about to happen here. Level two. And onion? Nope, not zero. Two and onion. Yep. Oh, level two and Cubsbane makes the uh, makes the painkiller. We should probably make some of that too. It'll make the bosses now that the bosses are finally starting to get a tiny bit harder. It'll make them a lot easier. It still came back together. Oh no! Okay, it died. Holy hell! <laughs> There's another round of combat still, dude. Like using a whole potion to kill one slime just is not worth it. There's gotta be there's gotta be another way other than potions to kill them because that's a level two potion to kill a slime like that's that's not okay <laughs> uh, okay let's make another level two but this time honestly i'm making painkiller i'm just doing it now because if i do it later or try to wait till later i'll forget and then cups pain thank you I will gladly accept this painkiller. Nope, not fire. I want you to summon swords, please. Did I don't think either of the swords hit you. They did not. Swords? That's not a sword. That's that's fire. That's a lot of fire. We're on fire. Okay. Healing potion, please. It's probably about time to switch over to the elixirs instead of the healing potions. So we're getting to that point where a healing potion really doesn't do anything anymore. Oh, good, good sword. Uh, I must have hit him too. Oh my god, Titania sucks so much. <laughs> Between the slimes and the wizards, man, this is probably, I would much rather deal with the lag of the fucking underworld than to deal with, with these stupid wizards and their stupid slimes. Are you gonna summon a sword, maybe? God damn it, every time I go to hit the sword, I hit him, too. And this slime is annoying as fuck. Go away! Oh, my God. I wish we could, like... Okay, yep, we're probably dead. Yeah, we're dead. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> okay. 
there, there's got to be a better way to deal with the slimes, man. If anyone knows of a way, please do tell me. That's not the napalm, because that's just ridiculous. Um, okay. We're fine for now. We'll, we need to remember to mix up another painkiller later, but not right now. I mean, we could probably... The Fozon Burst did some damage, but not, like, enough to kill the stupid slimes. Although the Fozon Burst might be a decent way to deal with the wizards, though. Did it hit him? I think it actually hit him. Yes! Okay, but I only got one good hit on him before he disappeared. Okay, that one didn't hit him. Neither did that one. Son of a bitch. He disappeared instantly. Cool. Turn around. Sword. And it didn't hit him. Excellent. I <laughs> I hit the sword. I hit it toward him even. But if it doesn't fucking hit him, it doesn't do any good. There we go. He's dead. I wish, like, if we were on fire and then the slime freaking tried to eat us or something, that it would damage him more. How is this slime so damaged? What happened differently? Was it the the swords from the wizard? Did that hit him? Because we didn't do anything to hurt this slime that bad. Like, we we hardly even touched this slime. So how is it that it took so much damage? Huh. There's got to be there's got to be some kind of trick here that we're overlooking to get rid of them, man. Uh, run away, run away, run away. Thank you. Like, the down attack doesn't do shit. We're gonna be sucked in again. Ugh. Like, I imagine they're meant to be like the slimes from, like, Final Fantasy and other, you know, JRPGs. Where they're basically immune to physical attacks, but, but magical attacks do damage to them or whatever. And I totally get that. I'm fine with that kind of system. But, like, I don't have that much magical attacks, you know? Like, even if we had a full set of foes on burst here, one attack of foes on burst is not enough to kill it. <laughs> like, so it's like, see, it, it came back to life, even though it had, like, full health. So obviously, Fozon Bursting isn't the answer. And that's the only magic attack we have. We have the Alchemy. But one Napalm may be enough, maybe. But even then, it's not for sure going to be enough to, to destroy it. And wasting a level 2 material for one kill on a slime just seems ridiculous to me. Like, that... Something seems off about that. Not to mention, this isn't the first time we fought slimes, and we never struggled with them this bad before. But I don't know. I must be doing something different. Okay, I don't even think I hit you that time. Honestly, I think it's going to be faster just... Oh, okay. Just chasing down the wizard and smacking him once over and over again than it, it, it is to try and actually get the sword thing to stun him. Yeah, see, he's already dead. Okay, uh, I guess we need to use a potion because it turns out slimes are like the hardest thing in the world to deal with. <laughs> Thank goodness your internet is working now. Hopefully it stays that way, Valkyrie. I, I really hope it does because I know how much that sucks. <laughs> Have you tried the shadow form? Good call. Good call. I haven't. Okay. Well, I need to actually hit them. Okay. That worked. I, hey, I, I am glad it worked. I, I I wish I knew that earlier, but it worked. So I will accept it. <laughs> that is... Thank God. Got a D. I'm not surprised we got a D. We totally deserve that. That took four freaking ever. Um, okay. Painkiller. We wanted to make painkiller with the extra cubs bane that we have. In case we end up fighting a boss that we actually struggle with with him. Uh Cubs Bane, there it is. 
pick that up, and then what are we getting? Probably just whatever's good for this room. Yeah, the gold. That makes sense, honestly. Mm. So we have a 90. We don't have any zeros, actually. We have a 7. So we'll take the 7 and mix it with the core that we have. <laughs> if the lady you're working with pages you one more time, you're shoving the phone up her nose. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to see someone fit an entire phone up their nose now. Um, I'm not going to lie. I know a kid that used to shove an entire phone in his mouth, but, but never seen someone put it in their nose. Unlimited pal. Yeah, that would be useful too. You're right. You are very right. Especially for, like, I love that one for bosses and things, too, because you can just get right up on them and just beat the hell out of them nonstop. What do we need to craft that one? Oh, no, not save. That's not what I wanted to do. Text. Potion you. I didn't actually look at it when I went it. Level two and a habanero. That's not bad. And we can collect habaneros here. So that is definitely something that we should try and craft a couple of while we're here. That is a uh, really good idea, honestly. need to get away for a minute while our pal refills. Thank you. Do we have, maybe we'll, uh, do we have any seeds? We could plant some seeds and finally use one of our level 90s. Or did I eat all the seeds? Or not eat them, but put them in the potions. Plant. Plant. Uh, we're poison. That's fine. I'm not that worried about the poison. Uh, Mr. Beholders, you can die. Try not to destroy the plants with all of this, though. Oh, hi, uh, Mr. Wizards out the fucking ass. I didn't realize there were so many of you over here. Okay, most of you are dead. Let's get a potion before I actually do die. And that would not be good. Uh, the Naples are still growing. It might be finished now, but... Okay. Is that the last of them, or is there anyone else? Oh, there's just a couple Beholders. Which, I kind of want to move away from my plants, honestly. I'm trying not to break them, but... Uh, uh Mr... Mr... Beholder, sir? Okay, you're dead. Let's do a Phozon release before I end up losing these plants to having them wither. Oh, shit. They needed a lot more Phozons than I realized. I thought there would have been enough from just the fighting, to be honest. But no. Holy hell. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll give them whatever they need. And fully grown, both of them. Excellent. And last one. Take our chest. We got some more seeds. Muggle of all things. But that's fine. We will dump those two muggles into a level zero and then make a potion U. I think. Yeah, that's the plan. Muggle. Turn the muggles into something useful. And material two. And what was it? Habanero, I think. Yes. Very nice. And that is a uh, three-use potion, too, right? Like the other ones are? No, it, it is a one-use. Well, I mean, even then, though, that's fine. Um, I also just realized we have some warming potion. We could mix that with something, probably, and do some stuff there. We don't really need a level one for anything. Put the 90 up here, I guess, and then the ooze down there. I don't know, man. My inventory is a freaking mess again. We got a lot of Naples to eat. That's kind of sorted. A little bit. Uh, that's good enough. She acts like dime collecting is stupid or weird when she's the one who was talking to the register earlier. Why were they talking to the register? <laughs> what was that about? That's a little weird. 
should be three use though. I'm guessing maybe that's a remix thing then, the the three use, because yeah, it's definitely one, right? Like I'm not. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. That menu, it doesn't show you how many uses it is. So maybe, yeah, okay, it is, it is a three use. Okay, I, I forgot that that menu only shows you what it is, not uh, how many uses you get out of it. So yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Yes, why was she talking to the register? And was she hoping for an answer? Those, those are both very valid questions that we all need answers to now. <laughs> Dead end, is that... Are we fighting a boss then? I'm get, It's not... It's definitely not like the final boss, but is it a boss? Is it anything? Did the game softlock? Are we just stuck here forever? In an endless loop? There we go. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh god, yep. Lag city, bitch. Uh, man, it's hard to keep track of what swords are from the the assassins, the poisonous ones, and which ones are from these annoying ass wizard bros. No boss, probably just a five-star level. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. I just wasn't sure because of how long it was taking for it to spawn anything in. We're on fire. I don't care. I just want to absorb some of the posons before they disappear. Oh, we actually got them stunned. Hell yeah! Eat that, bro. Because it went down two times in a row and told her that if it goes down again that we were going to switch registers that maybe I can actually get some shit done. Also got a stun. Dope, dude. I'm surprised that worked out. She doesn't like that idea, so she was giving the register a very stern talking to. How did that go, though? Did the register listen? <laughs> did it decide to uh, to correct its, its going down ways and, and, and be a good boy or girl? I don't know what the hell a register identifies as but oh good yep lots of fire it hasn't gone down since <laughs> so all i'm hearing is that these registers very well may be sentient for all we know the robot rebellion has already begun and it starts with the registers <laughs> that's what i'm hearing here Uh, die? I hate wizards, man. I hate slimes less now that we might know a decent way to kill them, but I, I still continue to hate wizards like something fierce. God, oh, that killed us. Holy hell. Uh, did not expect to suddenly take that much damage. Okay, then. I guess we could use a painkiller. Well, nah. We'll use a painkiller whenever we get to wave two, whenever there's that many wizards around us, but. Come on, game. Spawn. You should try that with your router, yeah. Let us know how it goes, man. <laughs> After you give your router a stern talking to. No oh, good, you're the annoying wizard. I wonder, I doubt it, but I wonder if the uh dark mode works on the teleporting wizards the way it works on the uh the whatchamacallits the slimes the ooze whatever the hell you want to call them absorb some bosons please and thank you oh shit no I was trying I was actually trying to go dark mode oh good you have some slimes there I don't know if he was spawning them or what. Okay, that definitely worked. Holy shit, dude. That was that was dope. I don't know if it if it froze them or if we were just able to do attacks more quickly than they were able to uh than they were able to to run away from, teleport away from or or how it worked, but it worked. So I am not mad. We need to heal though quickly before death takes us. Ow. Ow. 
Uh, you know what? Maybe take another drink of healing tonic, actually. I don't want to die here, man. We already did it once. You'll keep us updated? Thank you. Thank you. I, we're, we're all curious now. Okay, yeah. So, I think we just got lucky with that one hit. Either that or it was a, a different wizard, not a teleporting wizard. Because it's definitely not working now. Holy hell, they output some damage. Okay. Run away. Run away and take some painkiller. Painkiller and a potion. We're like most way there to killing them now, but I don't want to risk dying. And we're just going to use up our healing tonic because at this point we're going to switch over to Elixir. Oh my lord. Oh, so much damage, even with painkiller. Healing tonic. I'm really glad we had the painkiller there though, because otherwise we'd probably be screwed. Uh, kill him, please, quickly. Thank you. Uh, you die. Okay, no, I'm trying to... I was trying to turn off the dark mode, because I knew we were out of energy. Uh, do we have any more healing potion? We don't. Naple? Do we have a Naple? We do. We got a few Naples. Excellent. Oh, good. We're a frog. That's cool. Uh, what's the potion to get rid of frog? I think we have it. Cooler drain elixir, fire spirit, gold, healing tonic, ice, killer cloud. Nope. Lucky mix. Metamorphous. Level four and a habanero. Do we have the necessary ingredients? We do. Or at least we have the habanero. Do we have a level four potion or anything close to it? What happens when we take a level zero and mix it with a potion again? It multiplies it by something, right? So if we take the navel core. Can we still pick it up? Oh my god, we're so slow too. Oh wait, can we not pick anything up? We can. Oh. Uh, thankfully we still have... Whatchamacallit, because... Yeah. Warmer. Okay, so that would take us to two. So I'm guessing if the potion was level two, it would take it to four. So let's mix it with, I don't know, I guess an onion to get it to level two. Oh my lord, we're slow as shit. This is my first time turning into one. A frog, I mean. Like, I knew it was something that could happen because we saw the potion to... to get rid of the status, but yeah, I've never actually seen it happen before. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, uh, take the potion. Thank you. Holy hell. Uh, I was trying to recover, but I guess we can probably just get rid of you instead. And then recover with magic. Frog is the worst status ever. Yeah, no, that really sucked. Like, you're slow as hell. You can't jump. You can't attack. <laughs> that I that that would have that could have been really bad for sure. Thankfully, we had everything we needed to make a potion, so it didn't end up being too bad. Okay, what? One more hit, and I think you're dead. Nope, one more. And of course, you're gonna spawn this way. There we go. Ice, and then please. Oh, uh, that's not it. There's still more. Holy hell. Okay, this is a long ass level five encounter, dude. All right, drink that. Go dark mode and try to get rid of these bulk of these people and these slimes if possible. Oh my god, the game is so. <laughs> the game doesn't know what to do. I can't blame it. <laughs> There were so many enemies in that one tiny area. Holy hell, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is going okay. So much Cypher. Absorb it all. I don't want it to go to waste. Or Fozong, I guess, is what it's actually called, huh? Oh, there's a Beholder up here, too. Oh, good, we're dizzy. That old. That's gonna end well. Uh, we have a lot of Naple. Let's eat some. This is one of the longest level 5 encounters I think I've ever had. 
eat more Naple. Just eat them all. We're getting to the point to where fruit's really not worth anything anymore. Except for maybe turning into recipes, of course, but... They just don't heal enough. Oh my god, dude. We're dizzy again. Oh good. Yep, throw some fire in the mix. I like it. That negates half of the recovery we just did. Good stuff. Can we maybe kill the Beholder at least? Because I think that's what kept dizzying us with his, with his laser eye beams. Okay, we lost our painkiller, so we'll need to be a little bit careful coming up on the wizard here. But if we just hit him quickly, each time he spawns, he shouldn't really be able to do anything to us. If we get a good opportunity to try to knock his swords into him, we'll do it. But otherwise, I think it'll be quicker, honestly, just to wait for him to spawn and hit him. No, too far away from the swords. And smack him again. Yep, this this is life now. What? How did you dodge that? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to go that deep. Oh, God. And he spawned another beholder. Can you die, dude? Oh, good. We're poisoned now. This is ridiculous. Holy hell. All right, whatever. Drink the fucking elixir. I was trying to avoid it. Where's the stupid wizard? I'm so tired of them. I thought Titania. Yeah, Titania won't be bad, man. We should be able to get through this pretty quickly. I forgot about the wizards. <laughs> the most annoying enemy in the game. Please tell me that is the last encounter. Yes, okay, thank god, that's gonna be a D. If it's not a D, I will ship bricks, because, like, <laughs> that was a really bad one, man. That took forever. Six minutes, plus we died one story. I don't think the game actually tracks deaths at all, but... Oh, hey, a detox charm. It doesn't actually detox us. I guess it just stops us from getting poisoned. Not so much, uh... Actually, like... Curing poison once it, we already have it. It's fair, honestly. I get it. All the Fozons, please. Instantly level 25. <laughs> Do it again. You think Titania is the most difficult stage in the game? I would agree, I think, honestly. Just because of the, the wizards. The slimes aren't too bad now that we know how to deal with them but those wizards constantly teleporting around is a is a real pain in the ass for sure like seriously bad uh do you want to load twitch thank you also pause game there we go the wizards the oozes and the eyes suck yeah yeah the eyes are like they suck but they're not the end of the world they just you know, freeze you, which <laughs> really does suck, but whatever, I guess. Uh, this way. We should probably collect one or two more habaneros, actually, while we're running around, if we get the chance to. Uh, wait a second, this is the way I wanted to go. So after after chapter six, the one we're on, is there one more chapter or just the epilogue after after this? I can never remember how many there are. You would think by now I would since we're on our, what, fourth, fifth character or whatever, but nope. Oh, these guys, yeah, I was going to say when they jump, it hurts like hell. We got to be careful of that because, yeah, a couple hits of that. At least it's not like one hit kill like it was with uh, Mercedes, but it's still, it's a lot of damage for sure. Okay, drink that. I don't think we have to worry about being poisoned in this encounter. So let's switch back to our other... Where'd our other thing go? Only the epilogue? Okay. Because my hope is still to finish Oswald tonight. I don't know for sure if it's going to happen or not. But that's my hope, at least. Um, and you know what? This isn't like a main boss, but screw it. I am going to drink a U potion... Uh, did it work? I think it did. 
Ah, damn, you doesn't work in the dark mode. I was hoping that with the dark mode we would be able to... Oh, wait. How did we just get, like, a lot of our pal back in the middle of... It happened again. Maybe the U does work, but it works, like... That is weird. Okay, so it works, but it works by, like, recovering our power. And it recovers more slowly than it takes it, I guess? That It's really weird, but whatever, man. It worked, and it made that boss nothing. <laughs> Only the epilogue, but it is like a full chapter. I mean, as long as it doesn't take as long as this one does, some of the chapters we've been able to get through really quickly. This one's just taking much longer than most. I mean, well, I don't know. Should we try Naple pie? Pie made from only the plumpest Naples. Just needs Naple and Ruwort. I still don't really understand what that's meant to be, but... Oh, our unlimited power potion. Definitely pick that back up. There's a habanero like I've been wanting. So we'll take that too. And then be on our merry way. How's our inventory looking? Not too bad. We got a bunch of... Whatchamacallit to... Uh, to mix into potions. The, the cores. Hmm. <laughs> You does work in shadow form, it just doesn't stop it. Just like I said, okay. I mean, that's really cool that it works in shadow form at all. That's powerful as hell too. Uh, definitely gonna be making more you. First though, I want to, I guess, drink an elixir. Uh, we're going through them kind of quick, but we don't have any fruits or anything to eat, so. Oh, you're a bad wizard. Why are you a bad wizard? Keep hitting him as he spawns. Get through him soon enough. I think the final boss in the epilogue is the easiest boss in the whole game, really. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we'll probably we'll probably end up trying to get through the epilogue at least. As long as we don't fight a bunch of fights like this where it just takes forever to kill something. Or, you know, you got to get somewhat lucky with like a sword spawn and I mean I could like help the sword spawn along by waiting a minute in front of them and, and things like that but I feel like most of the time it ends up being quicker to just chase him down and beat him and let him teleport than it does to wait for the sword to spawn in hope you hit the sword the right way to to actually get it to uh to hit the guy ow ah uh, yeah damn I go away you can literally beat it in 10 seconds flat. No shit, dude. That's crazy. And keep going. Two more. I will take all the foes on, please. And a chest. What do we get in the chest? Is that our map finally? Yep. We got a, a rose simile, which is always nice. Some material, some naple, and oh look, there's the boss. So <laughs> we okay. We didn't literally go all the way around it. I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it. It's fine. I don't know what it is. I shouldn't skip it, but I am. Screw it. Screw it. I just went out of Titania. I'm leaving. I'm done. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Just kill him. How about that, Oswald? You know, for once, I actually agree with Odin if that's the case. You guys are assholes. 
賢人を出し抜くとは恐れを知らぬ大大目許さんぞ魔剣使いお前に尋ねよ魔石がいかなるものか知るやはぐらかすな答えろ命も尽きねば保存とならん保存が大事に変えられば新たな命は生まれない魔石はそのよどみにできた命の結晶死も生も表裏で一体なのじゃだが気づいてももう遅いすでに予言通り終焉は避けられぬ我らの望みはただ一つ終焉の後の新たな世界に現れる Oh, so after the end of the world, it's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> okay, see, this whole time I was thinking, like, when the world ended, that was it, everything was done with. But no, there's still going to be some people alive. Still, not saying that the wizards are good or right, but. Better known as 2013. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, my phone hates me today. I'm sorry, your phone hates you, bro. <laughs> I thought that was 2020. That's a really good example. 2020 is definitely fucked the world up a little bit, that's for sure. Scaldi the sorcerer. Uh, Scaldi about to be deady. Oof. <laughs> what happened in 2020? Hmm. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> 2020, 2020. I think, uh. Shit, I can't actually think of, like, anything other than the thing that happened in 2020. I was gonna try and have a smart ass remark, but I can't, I can't think of one. So, yep. Alright, drink some painkiller so we don't take too much damage too quickly. And, uh, let's just go ahead and pop you. And then go into dark mode and try and see if we can just beat the shit out of this guy okay this guy's not taking any damage so that must mean wait what how is how does this work wait is this is this one of the guys that we have to hit with oh shit the sword to be able to do anything Forest fires in Australia, killer hornets, one of those. Yeah, there we go. I was just, I was trying to think of anything that wasn't COVID. <laughs> and I just could not think of one. Oh, God, straight from Frozen to Dizzy. This isn't annoying at all. Okay, yep. I think, you know what? It's fine. Just let us die and we'll restart this fight at this point, dude. Are you gonna, are you even gonna hit us? This is the guy that's, fuck, fuck, dude. I, I hate this so much. Thank you. Uh, I, just kill it. I am literally trying to die now. And I can't do it. Somebody hit me. Thank you. <laughs> Let me just get a fresh start on the fight. Because if, th if this is the stupid sword guy, then I'm not going to take the time and... Uh, freaking do the, the painkiller and, and, and you and all that stuff. This is the most annoying boss in the game, that's for sure. There's those wizards that teleport constantly. This is basically them, except they can't take any damage until they get hit with their own swords that they spawn in somewhat randomly. It's terrible. And of course, we're on the wrong side, so okay. Painkiller might still be in order here. Just because we are taking a fair amount of damage from them, so let's actually... I take it back. We will do painkiller. At least. And then... Oh, God. At least you're not playing as Mercedes. This is very true. Like, once we actually 
deal some damage, or I'm sorry, once we actually get him stunned, we should be able to, to deal damage to him pretty quickly. But we still have to, like, get him to the point where we can stun him, at least. No, you stupid thing. I'm trying to hit the swords. Spawn some... Oh, no. Not, not ice. Okay. And fire. That's fine. Song of Ice and Fire. I didn't know we were doing George R. R. Martin stuff now. Yeah, okay. That's, yep, just <laughs> get juggled, bro. I think he might be stunned, but I can't do shit because I'm frozen. <laughs> oh, that was half my health. That's awesome. Um, do we have any carrots left? We don't. All right, drink another freaking elixir then. It's like the Energizer Buzzy Bunny. It just keeps going. 2020 does. Yeah, dude. Oh, God. No, hit the swords his way, not the other way. Oh, I hate everything. I just want you to know this. I want to kill the oozes real quick. You mean the Duracell bunny? Yes. Wait, is it the Duracell bunny over in Europe? Here in America, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the... Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna die. God, man. Uh, so I take it back. I don't think we're gonna finish this, uh, this character today because of this stupid freaking boss. I mean, anyone else from America, feel free to correct me, but isn't it the Energizer Bunny in America? Or is Valkyrie just playing games with us? <laughs> the XD at the end of your message there makes me, uh, makes me wonder. Is it really Duracell Bunny or are you just trying to trick all of us, man? The world will never know. Okay, painkiller, do that. Okay, hit the sword, but not him. There we go. See, if we can just do that, it's not all that bad. It's just getting him to spawn the sword instead of like the fire and stuff. And then not getting fucked by the big dudes, which I'm not seeing for some reason, but I'm not mad about this. Like, if the big dudes want to stay the hell away, that's that's perfectly fine, man. By all means, they can just fuck right off. Okay, and I know... I know uh, Valkyrie told us before that when there's a bunch of swords in the level, new ones won't spawn. So we should probably get rid of these swords over here. Is Energizer the name of batteries? Yes, that is a uh, a, a type of battery here in America. Duracell is another type of battery here in, uh, in North America, though. So, I mean, it would make sense with both. But if I remember correctly, and again, anyone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Energizer had a big ad campaign where they... Fuck, dude. Where they had the bunnies... A bunny that uh, I just kept going forever. You got your order from Hot Topic and food? Hell yeah, dude. We all uh, know my opinion on food around here. I fucking love it. <laughs> I don't know. Is this going to hit him? I think it hit his foot. It hit his foot. We're a go. Okay. Like one or two more sword hits and we might actually be done with this boss. I'm still very confused on why the shadow things never spawned this time, but I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to complain about it, though, either. Uh, quickly recover. Quickly recover. Thank you. Swords. You want to spawn swords. Manifesting all of our energy into swords. Nope, that's not a sword. That's fire. That's more fire. Uh... And you spawn the swords too far away. Dope. Uh, you're annoying as shit, Mr. Boss, sir. That's gas. That's not... That's not what we wanted either. I think we're out of antidote. We are. Can we... We can probably make some. It's just, what, level zero and an onion, I think? We didn't end up using all our onion, right? No, there it is. Yeah, antidote. Oh, God. Okay, yep. 
Hey, do me a favor, dude. Don't die. Uh, elixir. Chug that down. Take another painkiller if we have it. Um, okay, we might be out of painkiller. We can take the antidote, though. And then go into our real menu. I need to see what we have. We have antidote right there. But we don't have any painkiller. Okay. 8, 90, 90. Okay. Shit. That's fine. It's fine. You had to Google it. There are two different mascots. For some reason, both Energer, Energizer and Duracell chose to use a bunny. Oh, that is weird. Ah, uh, he's... No! No, he's fucking... Ah, uh, dude, he was stunned. He was stunned, but we couldn't do anything because we were fucking ran out of power from our dark mode. What are you doing? Fire? Ow. Uh, oh my god, get up! Get up, hit the sword! Thank fuck, dude! Jesus, okay. <gasps> you got Chinese? I love Chinese food. I haven't eaten Chinese food in a long time because shrimp allergy, but, uh, well, shellfish allergy, but I love Chinese food. I miss it. Both Energizer and Duracell chose to use a bunny. Hmm. Norm for bunny is mostly known in Germany. Weird. I wonder, I wonder if, like, they just copied the, the Energizer bunny from, like, the, the American ad campaign and then, you know, it was like, hey, that's a good one. They don't have the rights to it in Germany, though, so let's do it there. I wonder. I have no idea if it's true, but... Don't do it. Kill him. Don't do it. Turn around and kill him. Yes. Do it, Oswald. Thank you. Thank you for finally making a good decision. <laughs> Thank Christ. Yes, we will save the game. So, okay. That ended up taking a lot longer than I had planned. So, sadly, I don't think we're going to have time to finish Oswald tonight. But that's fine. That just means we have one more week of a little bit of Oswald action, man. Uh, we will go ahead and, you know, watch the opening cutscene, talk to all the people and stuff like that. So that next time we have time or next time that we play, we can go straight into the game and not have to mess around too much. But yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to be able to finish the epilogue, sadly, to the Fire Kingdom. We're going to see the Fire Kingdom next time, Rue. I'm sorry. I just don't think, because we only got about 15, 20 minutes left. I don't think that's going to be enough time to get through the, the whole thing. So, I think we're going to have to wait. Suddenly disappeared one day and everything is back to normal. Okay, so that helps us line up the timeline a little bit there, at least. So that's around the time the Puka dude killed the dragon. The Energizer Bunny was first created as a parody of the Duracell Bunny, which first appeared in television advertising in 1973, and it's drumming bunny commercial. I don't know if I've ever seen the original 1973 one, but yes, that's that's where I know the Energizer Bunny from. Oh wait, the Energizer Bunny was a parody of. Duracell bunny. Oh. Oh. So, Dur or Energizer actually copied your guys' mascot, essentially, then, is what you're saying. Okay. So, it's the other way around. Wow. Hey, I never would have guessed that, but that's that makes sense. I guess. I mean, one of them pretty much had to have copied the other I feel like you know they're two they're both battery companies using a a a 
uh, a bunny that never runs out of energy as a mascot. Like, <laughs> I doubt two, they came. Blah, I doubt they both came up with it independently. Is it bad you do actually kind of like Onyx? Like, he's a bit messed up, but he really does care for Gwendolyn in his own way. You think Duracell is from North America, too? The brand, I believe, is, but I, as far as I know, a Duracell bunny has never been a thing in North America, as far as I'm aware. Of course, I wasn't alive whenever these commercials were first coming out, so, like, yeah. I know we have it here. Well, yeah, yeah, I know we have the battery, but do we have a Duracell bunny in America? I don't think so. Duracell Bunny versus Energizer Bunny. There's significant differences in appearance between the two companies' mascots. The Energizer Bunny wears sunglasses, larger ears, is a different shade of pink, and different body shape. Uh, Duracell Bunny is a species of bunny, apparently. Duracell Bunny, never seen him? Yeah, me neither. This is the first I'm ever hearing about it. It's really interesting, though, honestly. Hey, man, you made it just in time to uh, watch the stream end. <laughs> so thank you for stopping in and saying hello, though, Opta Jack. Do appreciate it, man. But uh, yeah, we're just wrapping things up here. Doing our shopping and things so that we uh, don't have to do it next time. Whenever we uh, play again, we are going to need some cooler potion, but we can just make that there. There's no point in buying it. Uh, this is the epilogue, so we're not going to be coming back to, like, do any puka stuff later. What do we have in our inventory? Is there anything that we want to turn into food? No, so we can just spend all of our money. That's fine. So, buy another bag. Because, yes, please. There we go. You can't stand Onyx, Valkyrie, really? I think he's in love with some kind of weird fantasy he has, but you're probably biased. Uh, this means we can actually sort our inventory a tiny bit now. We can have seeds and shit to dump into potions here. We can have potion ingredients here. Then we can have all of our materials of various levels here. Look at that. While we're here, we might as well take that level 8 one and turn it into another level 90 by mixing it with that. And then we take that there and mix it with the 10. Where's the 10? There it is. That takes us to 90. There we go. Okay. Is our inventory still in order? It is. Look at that. Three 90s, man. Um, we're gonna be hurting for, <laughs> for, for health, though. I don't think the Fire Kingdom spawns any carrots, so we might end up having to do that next time. Go grind for some carrots, but I mean, uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Can you do a bad ending spoiler? Well, what if I end up getting the bad ending? <laughs> then it would just be a spoiler. Like, so I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> you refuse to let me? Okay. Okay. Uh, as long as it doesn't spoil anything from the main ending of the game, then like, whatever. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and do a save. So what is what is this bad ending then? I will uh I'll wait to see it before we end the stream and I go get some food. What do I want to eat too? That's something else I need to think of. I could cook some rice. I have chicken nuggets in the freezer if I could just be, you know, a child and eat chicken nuggets. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I do it all the time. <laughs> uh I don't know. Mina Noodles Pantry is running running low, honestly. We need to do some grocery shopping in like a few days or something like that. Onyx chooses to die after he kills Gwen in combat after being super angry at her for not choosing him. If you put Gwen against Onyx, they both die. Ooh. D why? <laughs> Are they just that evenly matched or is there some reason for both of them dying? Like, is it is it like a Harry Potter thing where neither can live while the other survives or something like that? 
I, I forget the, the exact prophecy in Harry Potter, but you get the point. Is it something stupid along those lines, or is it just that, like, they're they're so evenly matched? Like, but you also have to remember that he's been alive since the beginning of time. Hmm. Because plot reasons, okay? Okay. So, really, what I'm hearing is we just need to get to the end of the game and find out. How many characters do we have left? So, we're, we're on Oswald now. Do we have, what, one more after him? Or is it two more after Oswald? And then there's the, the epilogue for everyone or whatever. The big epilogue. Onyx feels awful, awful after killing her because he actually does love her, so he chooses to die instead of fulfilling his destiny. As in, bring the end of the world. Ooh. Just Velvet after. Okay. Okay. I thought it was just one more, but I couldn't remember for sure. So we're getting close. So in theory, next week, we could get to the epilogue. Probably not. But it's it's possible that next week we'll get to the, to the game epilogue. And then it's probably... The week after that will probably be the last week of Odin Sphere then, unless the epilogue is really long. Which is just... Wow. Crazy. We've been playing Odin Sphere for so long, man. It's crazy to think. That means we all have to start thinking of what game we're going to play next. To, to completion, obviously. Like, I know for sure I want it to be something shorter. I want to play a couple games that are, you know, closer to 5 to 10 hours instead of 25 to 40 hours. But I don't know which ones exactly yet I want to do. You don't want Odin Sphere to end? We'll probably come back to it eventually, because I do want to try the remake out at some point. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to end sooner or later. It's crazy, though. Like, even for me, this is the longest game that I've completed on stream, or will have completed on stream. Uh, most of the other games that we've played to completion have been, you know, things that just took a couple of weeks to do or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is... 25 to 40 hours worth of stuff. It looks like for us, it's going to end up being close to 30 hours, I'm assuming. So that's what, 30 hours. Is, once you consider like ad breaks, stopping a little early, ending a, or starting a little bit late and whatnot, things like that, probably like 10 weeks of, of Odin Sphere. That's crazy, man. You're welcome for introducing you to it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, honestly. The remake is amazing. Got to do the remake, yeah. Like I said, we definitely will eventually. It's on my it's on my list of things to do for sure. But uh, Jam Two, Jack, are you? I, I think you meant to say Jack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I I thought that's probably what you meant. Oh, real quick, guys, uh, before we sign off, just again a reminder. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, we will be doing a twelve hour stream here in a couple days. We'll be playing all different kinds of games, including uh, RimWorld Fable. Stardew Valley, Mario Odyssey, and uh, speedrunning some Deepest Sword. On top of that, we'll also be playing some PS2 stuff. So check that out on Wednesday. And there was another announcement. Oh, we also have a poll going on right now. I think most people at this point have done the poll already. But we are going to be adding a new category of stuff outside of PS2 that we're going to be streaming. So I'm trying to figure out like what category people are the most interested in seeing. So if you uh, would like to play a hand in shaping the future of the stream, you can go ahead and vote on that. You have three choices that you can make or up to three choices that you can make. You don't have to make three on that. And uh, we'll be doing a couple more rounds of polls and then whoever ends up winning it at the end is what we'll start streaming every week. So you're my hero for introducing stream to Odin's Firu. <laughs> oh man honestly more people need to try this game just in general like, it, it's unbelievable to me that i've never even heard of it until uh until rue brought it up and it's actually i mean it has some some flaws obviously a lot of them sound like they've been fixed in the remake but uh it's just crazy to me that that it's not more popular than it is or at the very least not more well known and by looking at the number of people that stream it and make YouTube videos and stuff about it, it looks like the community that around this game is tiny, which is just insane. Like, huh, it's it really is crazy to me, but 
You wanna know how I found out about it? You were literally just looking for PS2 games and it sounded cool. You took a huge chance and it paid off, I would say. I would have never met you guys other. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thankful for that as well. That's awesome, man. But all right, guys. It is time. I have ran out of snooze buttons on the uh, ad manager here. So Twitch is going to force me. I have no way of stopping it at this point. Twitch is going to force me to take an ad break here in just a couple minutes. So I think that's our cue to go ahead and go over to the break screen and sign off for the night. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me while I play Odin Sphere. I will see you all again next Monday with more Odin Sphere. And of course, we do stream every night. Well, not every night, but just about every night. We play some PS2 stuff or do the podcast or whatever. So if you would like to come hang out with us then, you are all more welcome to do that as well. Until then, bye-bye. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Hi. That's okay. See? Easy. Easy. That's all you had to do, man.